Okay, so just let me know and we're going to go live because I got all these burps to get out. Oh, boy. Oh, so wow. You said that without moving your lips. That's amazing. Ah, I'm very talented. You're so talented. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Oh, it's lovely to see you all. It's lovely to be here. We've um, definitely timed this extremely well because Sleet has a grocery order arriving any moment now. <laughs> so it. Fine. We'll probably get started and that'll happen. Oh, God. Can we just get right the heck into it? It's going to be a long, long time for us to be playing this video game. I could have wow. said that like a normal person, but I chose not to. But you elected not to, and I love you for it. Love you too. Now. And I knock over everything on your desk oh fuck <laughs> shit no why oh. why would you do this it keeps happening hydrate oh, hello oh. i have vanilla cinnamon tea Yum. sounds good as hell Yum. oh hydrate again okay hmm. Can't have a dry snip. That would be tragic. Mm -hmm. oh, where's where's the game? Oh, there. Well, perfect. Sure, that's exactly. Let's what go. I Better. Ooh, I like that option. <laughs> <laughs> the one where it's just kind of on one side. <laughs> the one that says flip horizontal. I think we should do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, welcome to Gapur Lamina Nibe Cell, everybody. <laughs> Let's unique knock the game. Don't forget the Rupus. <laughs> I'd never forget my Rupus. Stop, lesbian animal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's. Uh, oh, I need to unmute it as well. And I also need to move Twitch window over there. There we go. Goodbye, Twindo. Oh. You know, I only recently got a bigger desk, already feeling like I need an even bigger desk. It's fair. More space to hide things, so I can't knock them all off so quickly. That's true. I had managed to forget about this character, and I'm so How? happy. How I don't. You... I don't. My brain is is pudding. I'm sorry. Understandable. Ready to get down to business? Or do you want to keep looking around? Let's get serious. <laughs> Let's get down to business. To defeat mm -hmm. the VHS headman. Now then, let's get down to it. Let's get up, get up, get down. Mm -hmm. Faith told me there's a situation you need help with, but she didn't give me many specifics. She just said my knowledge of ancient magic would help. Right, it's a... Uh, well, it's a pretty extraordinary situation. I imagine. Faith doesn't need me to get involved often. Don't worry about me, though. I'm still spry by dragon standards. I've hardly aged a day since I hit 30. Man, where do you even begin? Okay, I'll just rip the bandage off. We need to ask if you can fight the goddess of magic. Meatballs? <laughs> Sorry, I must have misheard you. One more time, one more again? We've been challenged to a fight by the goddess of magic. You probably know her as Fortuna, but her name is really Varina. Meatballs. This can't be. I know. When's the girl stream team potion mixing class? Oh, we had that <laughs> stream. Please yeah, tell me that the stream title's updated. Oh, Please no. tell me I actually did that. Oh. I know. Sorry, it's a lot to ask of someone. No, no, no. I, 
I no, it's fine. I'll kill God for you. Sure, <laughs> give me one second. I don't. I don't think you understand. I, I knew Farina. What? Are you sure it was her? Describe her. Oh uh, well, she had long purple hair that kind of sparkles, and it is her. God, I wish Faith had been more specific in her letter. I guess she had no way of knowing the details, though. That's a part of my past I've tried my best to bury. Who would love potionomics? I've seen that. It looks kind of cute. Mm hmm. I just don't understand. Serena's back? After all this time? How? And she's threatening Greenridge? The party shares the details of what's happened so far with Zinnia. I see. So she wants her magic back. Do you have any idea why she might feel that way? Eight balls. I do. She's a bitch. <laughs> Look, this won't be easy for me, but I have some things to explain. A little over a thousand years ago, Long before Green Ridge was founded, I lived here on the Sapphire Islands. There weren't many people here at the time, and I enjoyed the peace and quiet. I had a humble life, living off the land. Then one day, out of nowhere, Verena appeared. <laughs> very... Oh my god! I was very shy back then in general, but I was especially shocked by Verena. I'd never seen a human before, for one thing. But even though she had never met a dragon before, she didn't look at me like I was a monster. And more importantly, she could do magic. You mean you couldn't? Even as a dragon? No, we dragons may be special, but we're still technically mortal. And sorcery was the art of the gods back then. I could naturally shapeshift and breathe fire, like any dragon clan, but couldn't cast spells. Oh, she's so oh. cute! <laughs> but even said she'd been to many worlds and seen many types of magic. She was as surprised as you are that I couldn't do any. Reverie was a world full of magic, she said. Every plant, every animal, everything, down to the smallest pebble. I asked her if she could teach me a spell or two. She thought it could be dangerous. She needed a place to stay, so she stayed here with me. I kept asking if she'd teach me magic. Eventually, I wore her down. <laughs> she realized, though, that I didn't have enough mana to cast spells. So to help me, she performed a little ritual to boost my mana levels. I'm pretty sure that made me the first mortal spellcaster in the history of Reverie. <laughs> I was far from the last, though. Word got out that Verena was able to teach mortals how to cast spells, and it didn't take long for people to start lining up asking for lessons. Everything felt like it moved so quickly over the next few years. Verena built a tower to call her home. Then we built a small magic school to the north and started taking on students. I picked up on Verena's lessons pretty quickly, so I helped her out with the teaching. Zinnia is trans, it never comes up in game, but Crater confirmed it. Fuck yes. <laughs> but before long, a rumor started spreading. People started calling her the Goddess of Magic. So, wait, is Verena a goddess or not? There's a reason people call her that. Whether or not she's one of the original gods of Reverie, she's as powerful as one. She's not to be taken lightly. Something I don't understand, though. It sounds like Verena was getting on well on Reverie. So, what happened? Why is she looking for revenge and trying to take away her magic? Um, oh, you're welcome, Twinkle Twos. Hang on, I need to just double check the title has actually changed. Just real quick, just real <laughs> quick. <laughs> it has for me, I think. Do -do -do. Yep, okay, good. Uh. 
Oh. Meatballs. Fermina didn't leave by choice. There was an incident. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you more, but it's a particularly painful memory for me. One I've spent the better part of a thousand years repressing. I don't know what's happened to her in the century since then, and I have no idea who this Jangles character she's mm -hmm. traveling with is. But that incident a thousand years ago is definitely why she's so bitter about Reverie. And it's also why I can't face her. Everything that happened, it was all my fault. Meeting Farina was one of the best things that ever happened to me, but to her, meeting me and giving me magic only caused her pain. I could try, but I'm sure it would only make things worse. She has every right to be mad at me after the hell she's been through. Sorry, the heck. Sorry, oh gosh. <laughs> and even if that wasn't the case, Farina was, was a dear friend of mine. I could never fight her. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know you came here looking for my help with this, but this is a battle I can't fight for you. Hey. I can't apologize enough for being unable to help with Farina, but... Well, Faith also told me in her letter that you four needed guidance. And I've never been one to turn down a pupil in need. I can see for myself what she meant by that. You seem lost. So I'd like to propose this little special training. It's the least I can do after you came all the way out here. Sorry, but I don't know if all the training in the world could help us face Verena. I know. But whatever your roles are in all this, I don't think you're ready just yet, physically or mentally. And, well, in times when I feel powerless, I try to focus on the things I can do instead of what I can't. Chat is so sad that Zinni is sad. I know, <laughs> Me too. I'm sad too. And what I can't do is teach. I mean, sure, I guess. It's not like we've got any better ideas, right? Sure. Fine. I'm in, I suppose. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. As a little warm up, I'm running low on the special dragon berries I use to make my dragon berry tea. You four can help me gather some in the mountains while I make some preparations back here. Let's try to turn this visit into a productive one, in spite of everything else. I'll meet you in my backyard whenever you're ready to head out. She's also got... Is that the the stars on her fridge? Is that pan flag colors? Oh, yeah, maybe. <clears throat> okay, my, my... Meet me in the backyard when you're ready. Except Sleet's not ready because she's got to go get her food. Oh, right. Oh, my God. Oh god. Yeah, dragon berries. We all love dragon berries here. Well, chat, it's just you and me. Dragon berries as in like dragon fruit. I'm going to strangle you on that 20. Oh god. Yeah, other big things last uh, stream. Um, Harmony showed up a bit. Oh. Oh yeah. Um... Uh, so, yeah, there was a little bit of tension between Melody and Allison. They haven't broken up, but they're kind of upset with each other and needing a little space, which is why Jody is our party leader right now. Um, so... Yeah. Still does say that Allison loves her girlfriend, so... She's got that going for her. Love Jody, absolutely shredded. Love that for her. Never actually notice the character classes here. Bulwark Knight, Punk, Evocation Witch, Resolute Paladin. Oh. 
I guess let's take a look at some of the uh, bestiary stuff while we're awaiting a sleet. Let's see. Frog ball. Territorial species of magical frog that's invasive in many parts of the world. When attacked, they puff up. This isn't just for show, as their stats increase with their size. Like most frogs are weak to ice and prone to freezing. Right, well, I sort of hope that would be funny, but <laughs> it's unknown why loot scooters hoard treasure the way they do, but they don't seem to use it for anything. Naturally, this makes them a target for adventurers everywhere. They don't pose much of a threat, but they flee after a few turns. Be sure to defeat them quickly to claim your prize. <laughs> cool snake. Possibly associated with the so-called trash snake that's been wreaking havoc in the amber woods. Most importantly, though, can you please start taking the monster namings more seriously? This venomous snake is not cool. Wrong. You guys thought this was a beast bug? This is very clearly just a large bird that loves trash. Come on. It's hard to tell sometimes. I don't know what you think is so super fighting about these robots, but okay. They scoot around on four stumpy legs and try to attack people with ruby spears that extend from their heads. If you're lucky, one might drop an intact spear for you to use. Like most robots in the Wasteland, these are heat resistant, but ice, water, and electricity will melt and mess with their circuitry. What are you guys fighting inanimate objects all the time? Are you just trying to pass pad out the bestiary or something? Hey now, these guys definitely earn my respect as a fellow spellcaster. Their ice spells and taste and headwear are the real deal. You know, maybe they're just trying to cool everyone down to nice and fresher from the desert heat. Thoughtful of them. I feel like these are mislabeled. They definitely aren't nano, but they are pretty small. Regardless, these diminutive robots make up for their extremely low HP by traveling in swarms. It's about anything will take them out in one hit, so don't worry about using your strongest attacks. Focus on group attacks instead. Wingu has great art of Jody being stacked. I I feel like I I saw Wingu's art of uh, Melody as a tour, which is extremely good. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Let's talk about a minor thing. This is only a photo of the chromatic colossus' legs. Where's the rest of it? Did you not think to look up, Claire? We did, but when you look up, the legs just seem to extend upwards infinitely. Ah, oh, me. <laughs> Not even the humble frog ball is safe from being warped in Javis's reality-altering dungeons. As you probably deduced, frog bombs will explode after a few turns. Okay. Singularity. Oh, I don't know how to deal with this. I have no idea what's going on out there. Gumball, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm back. <laughs> oh, hooray! Oh, oh, I lived. I'm glad. <sighs> to the backyard. Oh, it's snowy. I get all re-snuggled under my cool new blanket that yeah. you got me. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, for Valentine's Day, I got sleep. Um... A blanket that's printed like, like a magic card. It's, it's very it's funny. Amazing. I'm just a giant magic card now, everybody. And sleep got me some hot chocolate uh, powder and uh, some sunflower seeds covered in purple chocolate, which is very delicious. They're so fucking bomb. <laughs> Gee, that's freezing out here. How is it this cold in the middle of summer? <clears throat> Freeze, it's Jason out here. Mm -hmm. Well, we are high up in the mountains, but also the climate in certain areas of the island is dictated more by magic than by the seasons. Freena and I had, may have had a hand in that. Okay, hold on, we prepped for this. Everyone hold still for a second. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh much better. Jody, I told you to pick a cold weather outfit. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. It's not that cold. It's literally snowing. Relax, I've dealt with worse. You have any idea how cold Brightport gets in the winter? Fine, fine. Well, let's head out. Right. First, I think it would be best if you split off into pairs. Really? Okay, <laughs> well then Melody and I will... Uh, uh, uh. I'm the teacher here. Allow me to make the teams. I sense some tension within the group. We've all been under a lot of pressure lately, and I think you could use some room to breathe. Perhaps some time apart on this little wilderness sabbatical will allow you to see things from a different perspective. Allison, you should go with Jody. And Melody will go with Claire. <laughs> I know which which character the girls are voicing, so I split them up so now they get to talk to themselves. <laughs> it's my secret evil check. <laughs> Divide a pair of equipment if you need to, then let me know when you're ready to go. Oh, God. Ready to split up? Remember, it's Allison with Jody, Melody with Claire. You're also going to be out there a while, so make absolutely sure you've got everything you need. If you get hurt, just come back to my place. <clears throat> Ready to spit up? Wabagoo, babaroo, bahabaloo, badabadoo. Furry mountains. Yay. Oh, great. I can stuff my mouth with those chocolate sunflower seeds. And nobody will know. No. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Her cold weather gear is darling. It's very cute. Oh, very cute. <gasps> but, mm, eat balls. So hey, you've been awful quiet lately. I'm a pretty quiet person. Maybe, but not like this. You've barely said a thing all day. Uh, Natural20 asks the question, Jax, is your mouth stuffed with chopped sunflower seeds? Sounds like it. No. <laughs> Are you doing... Uh, 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 okay? What? Look, I know something happened with you and Allison. You can talk to me about it if you want. Are you, like, cool with Allison acting like nothing's wrong between you two? Should I not be? You tell me. No, I don't want my girlfriend to sulk. I don't want to bring the whole team down with me. I'd rather just focus on the mission and try to make myself useful here. Besides, I know Allison's going to throw her own crap right now. Going through her own crap right <laughs> nope. now, sorry. <laughs> try <Whoops>. again. <laughs> <laughs> She's just better at hiding it around you. <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to prod. Let's just look for more berries. Once you unlock the final dungeon, you unlock what seems to be like half the game's content and quests. Oh! Lots of. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Snow uh, Batman! Ah! Get the rock, get the snowman! Didn't work too well. <clears throat> oh. Hey, it hates being electrified. It has a metal skeleton. <laughs> That's Wolverine. <laughs> Thank you for the head pass, by the way. Meh, meh, meh. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> no sure of the two directions. <laughs> Money. What's your tail panda? Yes. Oh, game is so fucking good. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, they got a pal. Hmm. Wait, hang on. Oh, they're mean. They are. But they hate so fire. Are we. They do have knives, is the problem about them. <laughs> Jerry BT? What does that mean? It, it's wearing a hat and scarf. How does that make an EX variant? We don't make the classification rules, Mona. We just follow them. Great. Actually, yeah, I gotta look at Little Wiz again. Ah! <laughs> oh. Love them. Some form of cave madness. <laughs> They're dwarves, you see. A super oh. warm scarf. Hello? Prevents freezing status effects. Also extremely cozy. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, I think Little oh. Wiz is pretty fucking great as far as enemies go. The, the, the pain deer is pretty choice, <laughs> very though. Very good. Just a quick little smooch. <laughs> No, don't worry, I don't feel jealous or anything about what just happened. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try and blow away this pain deer real quick. Oh my god, yeah, they are extremely gay and it's so fucking precious. I love them. <laughs> I love them. Yes. Stole my gold! Gold got stolen. Took too long, now your gold's all gone. Every cast is just oops all lesbians, and I love it for that. <laughs> it really is. Meatball. Well, I mean, meatballs. I mean, <laughs> what? What do you mean? It is called Super Lesbian Animal RPG. It's true. So I guess it I mean, makes sense. That's an answer. <clears throat> yeah, I can tell you what happened if you still want to know. True melody is by. Biology. Of course. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but... No, I don't mind. Meatballs. Allison said she wanted to quit. Oh. Does she still want to quit? I don't know. I mean, I guess I can't blame her if she thinks she won't stand a chance against Farina. I'm not sure anyone would. It's not that, it's me. I know she wouldn't feel this way if it wasn't for me. I'm holding her back. She wanted to let you and Jody go on ahead to Green Ridge without us when we were leaving the desert, too. She had her doubts about me, and 
They were all confirmed by that stupid breakdown I had. Well, that doesn't sound like the Allison I know. <clears throat> she always seemed like your biggest cheerleader to... Sorry, I'm just rubbing salt in the wound. And if there's anyone you should be mad at, it's me. Don't blame Allison. Meatballs? Let's just keep going. <laughs> I love running circles around a mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I hope that all the munching on sunflower seeds I was doing did not come through on the mic. <laughs> Ah, oh, good. <laughs> A non-stop ASMR cornucopia. Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't you. Not heard a single munch. Good. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, you guys look like you're really going through some stuff right now. That kind of makes things awkward. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave you alone. Okay, bye. Bye, thank you. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fucking amazing, what the hell? <laughs> you just dipped. <gasps> oh, sliding <clears throat> on the ice. I puzzle. love slide puzzles. Mm-hmm. Like fucking um Chip's challenge up in here. <laughs> you think Chip is a lesbian animal? Chip from Chip's Challenge? Chip's Chip? Challenge? Yeah. I mean Maybe? <laughs> And we have to adopt some advanced definitions of lesbian for that, but I'm, I'm here for it. No lesbian like an advanced lesbian. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said the bummer, the bummer <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love that goddamn game. Bummer. It's actually a Chips Challenge 3D that's kind of um, a successor. The character in it looks nothing like Chip, but oh. Oh no, it's it's Chuck's Challenge. That's it, <clears throat> rather than that Chips bastard. Challenge. Pretty good. I enjoyed what I played of it. Is the greatest error noise ever, and wish I could figure out how to make it work. Is that on Windows 10? I'm <laughs> sure that's doable. Like, all of the old school um, control panel stuff is in there. Just, you know, um, kind of buried under the um, Windows 7 and on revision of the control panel. Melody Amaranth EX. Well, she did put on a scarf, so she meets the definition yeah. of it. She just needs the hat now, and we'll be, we'll be golden. Mm -hmm. I feel like I remember my parents' computer having, like, a Simpsons audio pack. Probably. Where, like, the, audio, the air sound would just be a dope, and... <laughs> <clears throat> 
I don't really remember anything else, but I remember the dough. Oh my god, we have to do uh, Incarta Mind Maze for education, uh, edutainment uh, yes. week this year. Jackson sleep you know, sleep like. I feel like you would have to fight us individually and then our second boss phase would be like me riding side saddle on <laughs> yes. Jax. Charging into battle. Oh, Inferno, you say. Ooh. Does the OST include gay dog too? Probably. Ah, conversation berries. <laughs> so what about you? <clears throat> uh-huh. You asked about me earlier, but how are you holding up? Oh, great. I have a, a sweet new girlfriend. <laughs> also terribly, though. But what else is new? Well, thanks for caring about my well-being, at least. You don't have to patronize me. I know this mess I got us all into blows. You have every right to be mad at me. <clears throat> no, I meant it. Oh, well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> ah, Jaxie X has nine tails and 16 legs, and she <laughs> skitters across my walls at night. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Man, I was hoping that would just turn into a bush. <laughs> that would have been really funny. <laughs> God, yes. Oh, there's a note from Zinnia here. You're doing great. Here's a little something to keep you going. Coach C. Mm -hmm. How thoughtful of her. What do you think of Zinnia? Oh, she's hot as fuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 she's hot as fuck. I mean, uh, I've just been a little too stuck in how hot she is to show that I appreciate her help. I can't believe she's still willing to help us after the bomb we dropped on her. I'd probably be a total wreck in her shoes. And everyone copes with hardship in different ways. I guess Zinnia tries to redirect her energy towards helping people. Imagining Jack's centipede. I actually have a picture of the bed. It's called a tar train and it's valid. <laughs> it is, for one thing, yes. But also, <laughs> uh, I do have a, some art on my wall of uh, Millipus, which is just a kind of buggish looking cat with a lot of legs, and it's very adorable. I Wonderful. need to show you all after stream. <laughs> Exclamation point Discord, by the way. Um, Jagombries. I think I can already smell the next dragonberry bush nearby. Really? From this distance? It's a pretty strong smell. You can't smell anything? Nope. Huh. Guess that's a perk of being a fox. You're just full of surprises, huh, Melody? I got this gigantic-ass cow nose, and you're the one who can smell everything. Mm -hmm. I'm full of surprises and pudding. Mmm. I wish I was full of pudding. Frost Frost More like Frost Todd. Well, Frost Todd. Oh, it bad. I mean, it's not the worst. Like, it like ducks your magic and attack a little bit to replace <clears throat> the user's attack with I'm Frost. So that's true. Honestly, my. I mean, I also do have a lot of <laughs> mana. Not aware so of like... train. Amazing, the best possible name. It's very good. <laughs> Sleet EX and Jack CX kiss before fusing together into Slack CX. Hmm. Which sounds like some kind of alien lord from the pulp novel. <laughs> <laughs> it only has six legs, but keeps Sleet EX's cool sunglasses and spiky hair and also gets laser eyes. Wow. Dang, we're cool as hell. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> I like that we're being turned into a boss fight. <laughs> So you've become a tar train is the name of an artwork. <laughs> yeah, <that> sounds <laughs> about right. We're sorry about your public transit costs. This. Oh yeah, I thought I was missing something. 
please tell me this enemy is just like, oh god. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> Play with her rocks at it. Uh, take its photo, take its photo. God, I wish I could. Uh. <laughs> God, I was hoping it would good. be something struggling on the ice, which is why it was yeah. whipping around in circles, but this is this is so much better. I, I love the theory that Bigfoot is just blurry. <laughs> it's just like that. It's a special camouflage. <laughs> okay. I've been wanting to try this out. Oh. Oh. Hot damn. I I really want to see the Beast Jerry entry for this one as well. I hope it drops its entry. Nice. Yes. Yay. Okay. Okay, we gotta check that out real quick. <laughs> we gotta unpack what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really the best picture we could get? This is just what it looks like. Please stop tainting this bestiary with lies. <laughs> oh, fantastic. That's just what it looks like. My favorite. Oh, that's a bundle of gold. <laughs> My pension. <laughs> oh, look at this Pokemon ass creature. Oh. oh, they're very good. I should have eaten an entire picnic lunch. Ever has mutated. <laughs> oh. I do want to check, just real quick. It's a it's to witches have relocated to the Furry Mountains to practice their ice sorcery year-round. They also have no qualms about practicing on any unsuspecting hikers just wanting to see the snow. Which is kind of fucked up, if you think about it. A little bit fucked up. <clears throat> They're a little bit, a little bit of baddies, if you think about it. They're a little bit Genghis Khan. Hmm. I want you to get it on. I should try to enjoy this little trip while I can, I guess. I've always liked the snow, you know. There's something calming about it. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's nice. Allison and I used to have a lot of fun every winter when we were little. We'd go sledding a lot. And she throws snowballs at our bullies. Maybe weather like this just evokes those memories for me. Maybe. I'm kind of having fun on the ice, personally. Wish we bought skates. You can skate? I skated a lot as a kid. Lots of good places to skate in Brightport in the winter, and it gave me a reason to get out of the house. Plus, we can just file my hooves down to look like skates and then it's just <laughs> skate time all the time baby <laughs> i was always too scared and clumsy to learn how to skate back then well you don't seem scared of the ice now i guess not huh well one more batch of berries should be enough let's look for that and then head back absolutely you can delta <laughs> go for it really like that design. It's very good, is the thing about it. 
Ooh. Megalith. Megalith. <laughs> Mystery beam! <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Ms. Magius, if it was a furry. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Would that work to ice skate hoof and undulate? I haven't tried, so probably, yes. I, I don't think so, because, like, there's the, the pad in the middle that's. Like, it, it's not. Come to all me, fire and war. Ah, you walk by the four. Welcome. Oh, hey. Thank you, welcome. Oh dear, I, mean, I wasn't paying attention. If you just do like catamaran skates. You have the pad, you just Yeah, do yeah, it. you I was thinking the catamaran hoofles. skates might actually do it, yeah. <laughs> Bartholomew <clears throat> Leon created his daughter in a cauldron using magic, but it's not said anywhere where Pepper came from. Huh. Did not know that he and he's created pretty salty his... about it. Did not know that he created his daughter straight up. That's kinda wild. Don't do that. Oh, when it said you can't move it means Oh. Mm. Interesting. Now that goes away, right? <laughs> Thankfully, <Okay. laughs> yes. <laughs> Auto petrify, you lose. <laughs> Don't. Don't hurt cow. <laughs> Protect cow. Protect cow. Beanball, Nanza. My little Waluigi <laughs> shaped all in the world. Popped <laughs> into it. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's neat. We have area of effect style attacks. Big rock. Survive my onslaught of pentagons. Me? Oh. Qualify as a birthing person, or does he count as just a father? Oh, that's the last bush. Here, I'll go grab that. Oh, sure. Is I'm glad the you're culture the mother? I guess. Very glad y'all are streaming such a relaxing game, because if not, I think my brain's will be melting from stress and anxiety. Oh no! Uh, oh, was... since my night beat. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm hope things were helping. Yeah, I hope things get better. <clears throat> I'm sorry the anxiety is being a bitch. Quietly puts away all of her air horns. <laughs> Ow, crap! Claire? What happened? Are you okay? There was a root or something buried under the snow and I tripped. I think I have a boo-boo on my knee. I think I twisted my ankle really bad. It might be sprained. God, what a stupid accident. We make it through all these battles with monsters, and this is what gets me. Figures. It's okay. I should be able to heal this. Are you sure? It'll take a while, since it isn't just a surface level injury, but yeah, this is the kind of thing I studied for. Okay. Thanks, Melody. Meatballs. Meatballs. God, your mood was actually starting to improve, and I have to go and ruin it like always. Don't worry about it. Meatballs. I'm sorry for all this. 
For what? I think you're gonna die, Melody. Promise you'll eat my body. Jesus. Everything. You and Allison and Jody and Faith are all risking your lives to help fix my mistakes, and I'm hardly even grateful. I rushed you and Allison into this guild crap because I thought it would be a good experience. And look at where we are now. This guild even managed to drive a wedge between you and Allison. If we ever make it out of this, then I don't blame you if you want to quit. Eight balls. It can be hard for me to talk to you sometimes, just because... I mean, it can be hard for me to talk to most people. And you can be intense, and sometimes you leap before you look. But you've also done so much for me. You gave me my magic. And I don't think you would have bothered if you didn't care. You really are one of my best friends, Claire. Meatballs. God, you're so nice, like, all the time. I summon some sort of glitch apocalypse, and you're still not mad at me. This would be easier if you were all mad at me, you know. Just get it over with. You all still have this misguided trust in me when I deserve to get chewed out. I can I mean, like, uh... Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how I tricked you into believing in me. It's just gonna make it sting harder when I fail. Do you want me to be mad at you? No, no. Forget it. I mean, I don't know if I'm as nice as you think I am, deep down. And I'm not pleased about the situation we're in. But that doesn't mean we aren't friends. Meatballs. Have I ever told you about my life back home? <clears throat> A little, but not much. Why? I didn't really have many friends growing up in Brightport. And my family was always treating me like garbage. Jody was all I had. But then Jody graduated and moved away, and finishing high school as a closeted trans girl with no friends was uh, terrible. And I didn't have the grades or money to go to a good sorcerer's college. After high school, I was just suffocated. I had to do something fast to keep my life from going completely off the rails. Sometimes I feel like my life's barely just begun. You're like 22, your life has barely just begun. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else got an 18 year old. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Try <it> again. <laughs> and all I got was this fucking t shirt. <clears throat> like everyone else got an 18 year head start, and it's already too late for me to catch up. Not like you would put on a burger or anything, just <laughs> as soon as I could, I got away from my family and moved in with Jody. She was the only person who made me feel safe. I figured I'd just room with her, get a crappy job in Green Ridge to help pay the bills, and start studying magic on my own. I didn't know if any part of that plan would work out. But you and Allison and Beverly and everyone else have done nothing but try to make me feel welcome here, even when I've been a careless jerk. Which is often, let's be real, even Faith. She cuts me so much slack. I thought I had the perfect opportunity to make something of myself here, and I didn't want to waste it. That's why I rushed everyone into this whole guild thing. And it's why I pushed myself so hard with magic. And it just really bit me in the ass this time. Plus, I know we don't talk that much, but you're the only other trans girl I've ever really been friends with in real life. And I've always been really supportive, and I don't know if I've made it clear how much that means to me. We've got to look out for each other. If we don't, then who will? Hey, sorry it took the apocalypse for me to say I care about you, Melody. Likewise. If we make it through this, we should hang out more. You know, under less dire circumstances. Also, your leg probably finished healing about a minute ago now. Oh. Oh yeah, it does feel better. Thank you. Meatballs. I mean, dragonberries. <laughs> you know, this might sound absurd, but... I think this allowing has given me an idea. What kind of idea? Come on, I'll tell you back on the way to, to the back to Zinnia's back, please, <laughs> Black. A oh. short time earlier! <laughs> yeah, Claire's struggles is really something, and like... Yeah. 
Yeah. Just, um, hey, I, I don't think that you see a lot of trans characters in RPGs, so like, ah, <laughs> feeling very seen right now. Mm -hmm. Oh. I hate to say this because I didn't want to in the moment. Whenever I show a friend this game, I do like I do like saying, damn, can't believe Claire just died at the very beginning when the boar tackles her. I think it's still <laughs> funny. You're correct, objectively. Immediate death. Yeah, you don't see many trans characters in media at all. Like, we have to make our own representation. Because mm -hmm. what, what this game is, basically. Yeah. What we get from uh, the mainstream is just crumbs, or occasionally, like, um, against all odds, some show getting greenlit that has central trans characters, or uh, things like that, and just... We could do so much better, you know? Yeah. Hey, Vixie. Yeah, Melody is wonderful. Anyway, what yeah. if we beat up this deer? <laughs> Do some dying light drop kicks on this deer. Yeah. Yeah, Hairly Plotter in the Hogwash Fallacy, oh, absolutely. God, Sir Ona Ryan. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Which, in the code, um, that character is allegedly referred to as um, Mr. Girl or something like that. So it's like, oh, like we knew, we knew it was fucking disingenuous, but like, they weren't even trying to Just pretend. call us a slur next time, don't. Yeah. Somebody free her from that game. She's imprisoned in there. <laughs> she doesn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. Convo with Melody and Claire is one of those moments where you have to actually consider how important this game is. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was a nice oh, feel-good conversation. That, that felt that. really nice, yeah. Hey, you think we should taste test these to make sure they're ripe? They look ripe to me. Oh, so you're an expert on magical fruits now, huh? I mean, I definitely know more about food than you. Also, see I my girl. We are both wizards and yay. So. <laughs> we both know I'm a better cook. Okay, I just want to see what they taste like. I've never had dragonberries before. They're rare. We literally just had dragonberry tea with Zinnia. <laughs> yeah, but the raw berries are a whole different experience. It's all about the mouthfeel. Fine, just one can't hurt, I guess. <clears throat> It tastes is an tea stream. like the tea I just had. We just had what? Wait. What? Now don't worry about it. We can't say it even so, cause Twitch will explode. <laughs> oh, I see what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> my love, my what? darling. <laughs> what? What? I'm a Precious it's an angel. I don't know what you're talking about. Zinnia letting her berries steep. That's all. <laughs> <sighs> Do a funny. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, trans Do wizard Harriet Porber is excellent. Fucking oh, excellent. It tastes like the tea we just had. You don't say. That's all for this bush. Let's find more elsewhere. <laughs> she said, standing over the corpse of both. <laughs> every expression that every character in this game has is extremely good. Absolutely. <clears throat> I do love Allison's like half-lidded 
shitty grin. <laughs> you better stop throwing me at the Harry's. It's going to be hard enough to trick Jagglis into unsealing me from my stony prison without being thrown at his future underlings. <laughs> oh, we've got a... Whatever that is. Uh-huh. Flame, Flame. Flame. You're out of place here. You're supposed to be on the internet. <laughs> Go back to the... BB.net forums. <laughs> Shadow. Oh my god, it somehow hung on. Of all the characters in this game except one. To a deviant art with you. Deviantart is way up there in the realm of sight switch has just gotten less and less usable over time. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Uh, oh my. Oh, we advanced puzzling now. You hmm. thought it would be so easy. This is definitely not how you're supposed to do this. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. I've, I've got it. Uh-huh. Yeah, the one on the right. Uh -huh. And left. And right. Oh. And, up. and down. Oh, you're so... And down. And up. You're very smart. Yeah, I... Jeez, you think Zinni has to go through all this every time she wants some dragon berries? I mean, she probably flies over all this, right? She has wings. Oh, yeah. Probably. She's also I wanted... huge. I wanted to ask if she could really fly, but I figured that might be rude. Yeah, these are good puzzles. I love slidey puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> I always get happy in a Zelda game when I've got slidey puzzles to do. God. This is a whole dang community of folks making puzzles like this um, for the puzzle script engine. I used to play so many of those games on my work lunch breaks. I don't know if there's still a lot of them being made, but they were really good. Hmm. Wish to slidey puzzle in real, but think I just slap smash my face. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. I think that would be a fun aspect of an escape room. Not the face smashing <laughs> part, but... Yeah. I would love an escape room that's just like... A recreation of one of the Zelda One dungeons or something. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> that would be cool. Wasn't there like a JoJo's escape room sort of thing at one point? Oh my god. Maybe. Wait, did my dive bomb do... Oh no, it did, it did good. Slide puzzle can't be restricted in real life, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's very true. Oh, Delta, that's a collection of words you just said. Oof. I want to slurp a good in real, but I think I'd be too easily convinced to work with the Tumblr sexy man VHS Dilf. Whoa. Hang on there. 
Oh. I mean, you're not wrong is the thing about it, but... Oh. God. <laughs> Crying. Okay. Didn't mean Javier. Yeah. Hmm. Love the human language and all the vast combinations of words you can make. Very good. <laughs> you can really just say things. There are many things that you can say, and all of them are sinful. It's Javert. Oh. And I'm Javert. <laughs> Wait, we're not playing Bug Snacks, we can't. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, if uh, you've not seen our Bugs Next speedrun, it is up on our Highlights channel, which I think will come up with exclamation point YouTube? Question mark? Just really need... like this. Ah, oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> Jack's really good. And we have to sing a little bit of Ling's uh, to, to help. But it helped. I mean... You say lame is, but it was really. It was. It was really. Two four six zero one releases a sandwich on patrol. A parole. That's it. Yeah. Dear God, what is happening in there? I say as I look <laughs> at chat. What? 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 what excuse me. <laughs> Why are we talking about that now in Natural 20? Uh, Natural 20, come to the principal's office right the fuck now. <laughs> it's us, we're the principals. And we add the latest to ITP to your hog shirts, Luigi shit post, but filed on my cat family. Oh no. man. Man, all those monster attacks sure do sting when Melody's not around to heal them. You're telling me? Hey, speaking of Melody, did... Something happen with you two? Don't worry about it. Easier said than done. You two went from hopeless puppy love to not even speaking to each other overnight. Yeah, okay, we had a fight. Barely even a fight. We raised our voices. I said some stupid crap in a moment of weakness, and it just made Melody feel bad. When I realized what I'd done, it was, it was just too late. What kind of stupid crap? Like, how I was thinking about quitting, and how I didn't think we could be the- we should be the ones to face Verena. I mean, we can't face Verena. I know, I know, that's not the point. I was just worried that I pushed her too hard. Joining this guild, getting magic, quitting my job? I've been stupid. I hate seeing her like this. She's had multiple breakdowns this week and I feel like I pushed her there by roping her into all this. The way she talks about herself sometimes. Wanting to make herself useful, not wanting to seem weak. That kind of thing. Haha. <laughs> I don't want her to think that she has to go this far in order for me to love her. I already loved her, we all did. Haha. <laughs> But whenever I try to let her know that we can ease up, it just makes things worse. And now she won't even talk to me. I think she hates me. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Yeah, well if she does, I probably deserve it. Well, it probably won't help if you keep him waiting. Let's get the rest of those berries. Woo! I'm gonna make you read that one, Jax. Humbler sexy man VHS Dilf seduces you to betray your entire planet in Applebee's bathroom ASMR. <sighs> Again, say this to not clash for the moment. It would have helped make it look even more to glance like we first impressions gameplay video. <laughs> Fantastic. J Jax? Jax? Did you just hit the eject? I think Jax just hit the eject button. Uh-huh. Hi. Did you hit uh, the eject button on your chair, honey? I did. 
Did the door slam not come through? I did. Okay, good. I uh, thought maybe it was the the trap door opening up to let you out into the night sky as you ejected uh, in space. God, I, I just I I just had to angrily go to the kitchen for a moment. Oh, okay. Conveniently, I, I did use great. that time to get some water, so. Oh, just in time, too. That's a good point, actually. Oh, oh boy. Oh, once again, you can just really say anything on the internet, huh? Just Whoa. Don't say what. Oh, boy. Cryptic, cryptid, cryptic, cryptid. Man, that's hard to say. What? Cryptic Namakan. Oh. Hey, Jax, I have a question for you. Yes, my love? Have you ever gripped it? Have you ever ripped it? Have you ever baby? Like a, like a, like a real, a real super villain. <laughs> oh yeah, that attack does fucking nothing with one star power. That's... Oh no. You may say as you wish, but when you die, we will all remember. That was a pretty raw thing to say, dang. I like it. It's intense. Mm. Tumblr sex man VHS bill explains his business plan to sell strap ons for giraffes in a McDonald's parking lot by SMR. I'm gonna get this spray bottle here in a minute. <laughs> I put a little bit of lemon juice in it. Mm hmm. I'm upset. <laughs> Thank you, Unnatural Fancy. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I think my brain has successfully begun melting. Huzzah! Yeah. We can stop escalating the... <laughs> that. <laughs> Please. I'm begging you. Time to sell them, or just use that space for the business meeting? Oh, who, who can tell? just like those pillars we saw back in the vault. Guess we need a key. You could say that, Melody, but you could also not <laughs> say that. <laughs> Crying, weeping. Crying, weeping, 18 plus stream. <laughs> oh, blast beat. I must have missed it when we unlocked that. Cool. Varbus into spam. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> another. I guess it shouldn't have been an unexpected breakout, sexy man. But here mm -hmm. we are. I I don't know if Spamton's necessarily a sexy man. He's just everyone has kind of looked and gone. Yeah, scrunkly the wen. <laughs> scrunkly, scrunkly the wen. Look, the existential dread gets you again. Oh no. No beans. Become become his creature. Mm -hmm. That that is the cure. I wonder if I should give Jody the um thing that lets her retain star power, considering one of her more powerful attacks is contingent on her having high star power. Mm. Ah, that's a good idea. <clears throat> Let's 
pretty good. Pocket healing. I do mm. wish that was a tiny little charm of melody. <laughs> yeah. Focusing on Jody as a defender, you don't really need to pin on her. True, but... I'm trying out for now. Oh, Jack, the Jackson. The chest, yes. Sorry, I was getting My increasingly pension. upset. <laughs> pension? Insidious. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no, I really feel bad. Oh, wait a minute. Go up real quick. There's like a hole in the wall, do you realize? This one? Get in there. Oh no, that's just shadow. Never mind. Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. <laughs> Oh, well, hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay. You sure you're not cold? A real knight has to be ready to deal with extreme conditions like this. Oh, please. Who do you think you are, Province? You're gonna freeze your butt off. Faith's not gonna be happy if we bring her back an assless Jody. <laughs> yeah, well, she's already not happy. Huh? I thought you and Faith were still okay. Forget it. I don't need your ribbing right now. No, come on. You know I can turn off the sass. What's up? I'll be fine. My problems are mine to deal with. Right now I need to be a rock for the team. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. You can be wrong if you want to, Jody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Categorically incorrect, Jody, but okay. <laughs> Respect your decision to be just so, so sexy and wrong. Strong, see. <laughs> Is that better or worse, you say, Delta? Worse, much worse. Uh, congratulations, it's as bad as it can be. You can stop now. Oh my. Oh. Oh, we puzzling. Ooh. Oh, they're they're bounce bounce bumpy Oh, bumps. turnies and bouncies. Mm -hmm. Huh. Neat. <clears throat> you did it. Oh shit. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. How could you? How could you? I muted I've been muting so many burps. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no. You forgot. Me for gore. For gore. Get her ass, chat. No. Not my ass chat. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Sleet's ass chat. Hmm. Or don't. Their scorches are green, huh? That's cute. Ah. That's pretty cool. I wish they would stop hurting us, <laughs> though. Do you know why they're green? Uh, because they're burning some kind of copper substance? I knew that could be. I just thought it's because they're, they're flamelings, which means they're not experienced with fire, so... Oh. They didn't know what color to make it. <laughs> <laughs> this feels a lot like last night when you're like, oh, what were those three witches? And I was like, oh, what can I You're like, no, from Paper Mario. <laughs> like. 
in your defense, it was hilarious. Vending <laughs> uh, <laughs> machine all the way out here? If I stopped questioning like stuff like this two dungeons ago, it's probably magic or something. And single carrot continues to be really good. Uh, uh. Ethos, Porthos, and Aramis. Definitely, definitely witches. Mm hmm. Well, that definitely wasn't correct. Tartania, the good witch. Oh god, I'm fucking this up real bad. Oh. Uh. Oh no. Stuck for a solid five minutes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, all right. <laughs> Intended. Meant to do that. <laughs> Didn't just blindly stumble into the solution. So good at video games. Allison, what does being part of a guild, this guild mean to you? Huh? Like, for me, I became a knight because I wanted to protect people. To keep the people I love from getting hurt. I thought that joining the Paladin Brigade would have caused problems since Faith would be my boss. So, instead I started this guild with Claire. But, obviously it wasn't that simple. Maybe hearing your thoughts on all this will help put things into perspective for me. What motivates you? I don't know, um... What did Allison want? Hmm... I think she did kind of want to be like her mom, a little yeah. bit. I guess I wanted to follow my mom's footsteps. I always have. I've been my role model ever since I was a little kid. I grew up wanting to be a hero like her. That's easier said than done. I'm no hero. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. It's okay. I mean, I'm also kind of in it for the money. I didn't want to be stuck in poverty with a dead-end minimum wage woodcutting job my whole life. I want more than that. Turns out adventuring is expensive, though. We have to spend so much of what we make on equipment just to keep up. You're telling me. But that's not a satisfying answer to your question. That's not a cool creed to live by. I just have bills to pay. It was a grounded answer, though. Eh. Either way, if we somehow make it to next week, then I guess I've still got a lot to figure out about myself. And yeah, we could put on the lame is eh? YTP, <laughs> we're having trouble. <laughs> Always a good option. Yes, it means I'm free. No. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Yay. Puzzle on. Okay, did it. Wait. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that... <laughs> That's a pretty good joke, video game. <laughs> That's a pretty good joke. Ah, oh, some kind of henge. Oh. There we go. That should be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't You're say not... it, Tiger Lady. Don't say it. <laughs> That's great. Let's head back. Was, was that and I'm hungry for cereal right now, all of a sudden. Oh 
Okay, fine. Maybe I'm cold. Come on, let's make a fire to warm you up before we make the trek back to Zinnia's. Stonehenge. A short, a short time, time later. later. Meatballs? Hey, Jody. You're so fine. <laughs> From your point of view, why did you and I break up? Whoa, where's this coming from all of a sudden? Well, I've just been thinking about it a lot today. We broke up. And, like, no hard feelings there, obviously. But now Melody's mad at me, too. Did we know that before? Don't think we did. We definitely Shit. didn't. That's kind of cool. I'm just wondering, like, is history repeating itself? Am I making the same mistakes all over again? Am I just an idiot who's miserable to date? Meatballs. Well, we were just teens being teens. <laughs> Thought we knew everything, even though we were barely out of high school and we were scared of being alone forever. I figured that, hey, we get along great as internet friends. Both lesbians seem compatible. We're in the same town now, why not give it a shot? Then, after a couple of months of ups and downs, we realized we knew how to push each other's buttons in all the wrong ways. We weren't giving each other what we needed in a relationship. So we went back to being friends. I don't know. I don't hold anything against you, it just wasn't right for us. But, I wouldn't say that what happened between us is comparable to you and Melody. And how do you figure? Well, when we started dating, we didn't really know each other all that well. You and Melody know each other better than anyone. We were both totally in love for years before you even realized it. Well, tell me, what does Melody mean to you? She means the world to me. Webster's always Dictionary been... defines a melody <laughs> is. <laughs> She's always been there for me. I've tried my hardest to be there for her. Around her, I feel safe. Like I don't have to impress her. I can just be mean. She understands me. I hope the feeling's mutual. What you two have is really special. I isn't going to disappear just because of an argument or two. I mean, look at me and Faith. We still have our disagreements. Really? I've never seen you two fight. Oh, totally. We love each other, oh, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but our lives aren't always completely compatible. I didn't become a knight for Faith, but I kind of figured I'd be working with her more. Didn't work out like that. She's got her responsibilities, I've got mine. Can't always find the time for each other. Sometimes that really stings. Sometimes Faith has a lot on her plate and I want to be there to help, but that's just not what she needs. So we've learned to compromise and to be clear about our needs. To know when we need to be there for each other, and when we need our space. Of course, I don't think my actions this week are really helping things. Oh, come on. We've done nothing but save our butts left and right. Yeah, and I also led everyone into a trap because I ran off to play hero in the desert. Just left Greenwich wide open. And really, everything that happened is kind of my fault. I was supposed to keep Claire from getting into trouble, and I've clearly failed to do that. No shortage of stupid things I've done lately have just caused my girlfriend needless stress. I know she's frustrated, even if she's good at hiding it. I thought I could be there for Faith and help Claire get the guild going and support you and Melody and make everyone happy all at once. Turns out, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. I feel like I've gotten a little off track here. But it's fine. It's not like Melody and I are the only ones having a rough week. But the point is, relationships take work. That's just normal. I'll have to find some way to make it up to Faith and do better in the future. Because we love each other. It's the same with you two. This week has been a lot for all of us. I know it's hard, but if Melody wants some space right now, then Melody... Then, then maybe that's just what she needs. Gotta give her some time and be there for her when she's ready. Meatballs. Thank you, Jody. That helps a lot. Come on, let's head back to... Oh, what now? It sounded like that came from our north. Let's investigate. Oh boy. From our north? 
Yeah. From our yes. north. As opposed to... Oh. Also, you'd think that of all the four who would blame themselves for everything, but it's so great to show that Jody also has that guilt. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I see green fire. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, it's oh, you. You turd burglar. Paula? There you are. Whoa, what's going on with your eyes? Are you Green. okay? I'm better than okay. I'm ready for round two. Come on, enough of this. We already beat you once. Keep telling yourselves that. My job was just to buy time for Verena's summoning, and I did exactly that. The only reason Verena let you go is because she wants to test you. And now I'm here for your pop quiz. Seriously, what is your problem, Paula? Why the hell are you so obsessed with me all of a sudden? You want to know why? You ruined my dreams of being a pole star. It's because you're a cheater. I know the truth about you and Amaranth. You two cheated your way into becoming adventurers by stealing Verena's magic. I've known this the whole time. All of People like you sicken me. You're no heroes, you're scum. You just think you can use magic to get whatever you want. Well, guess what? Two can play a dad game. I proved my worth in the assault on Green Ridge, and now Varina's granted me more power. And unlike you, I was chosen directly by the goddess of magic herself to inherit this power. Paula, do you have any idea how dangerous that is? Yes. Dangerous <laughs> for you, maybe. No, seriously, cut the crap. You need to get medical help right now or you might... You can't run from this, Galita. If you can't face me like this, then you don't stand a chance against Verena. Now give me everything you've got. Oh boy. Oh, oh but... Oh. Oh, she's good. Okay, well... I mean, it's not that she doesn't kind of have a point, but also it sounds like that's what everybody else did too, so we're not necessarily special in that regard. Yeah. She's got Hades highlights. Oh my gosh, she does! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yoink! Ooh, nice. <laughs> what? You stole my tears! What the fuck? <laughs> my eyes are all dried out now. Oh. Okay. All the X is serious, rule 34. Wow. We're wow. just playing all the great sentences tonight, huh? <laughs> Hellfire. Yeah, she, she does that. I stocked up on mega potions. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Is that all you've Oh. Paula? I knew that much magic would be too much for her to handle. Come on, we can't just leave her to freeze to death. Let's drag her back to Zinnia's. We brought you dinner, Zinnia. <laughs> Paula? 
Whoa, what happened here? Is she... She's suffering from mana poisoning. It's a common side effect of being infused with too much mana too quickly. A minor case won't be much worse than a hangover, but Paula's so overloaded that she's lucky to be alive. She's a total pain in the ass, but Paula doesn't need to die over this. Can't we do anything? Zinnia, would draining some of her mana work? I have a spell for that. Yes, that would do the trick. Come here, I'll guide you through it. Oh, where am I? Don't try any funny business. Oh, great, I'm in hell. You're welcome for saving your life just now. Wait, something's missing. Where's my magic? What did you do to me? You're recovering from a life-threatening case of mana poisoning. Your lucky Melody was here to help me drain your excess mana. Ugh, gross. Don't assume that I owe you or anything. I'd rather kick the bucket than get help from a magic thief like you. Magic thief? Yeah, that's right. I know your little secret about how you got your powers. I've known this whole time. Overheard you two blabbing about it on the hiking trail a few days ago. And boy, did it piss me off. You want me to put that toxic mana back in you and let you fend for yourself? Wow, look who grows spine. Paula, why are you like this? Why do you care so much about how Melody and Allison got their magic? How does that affect you? And don't just say you wouldn't understand. I've always hated magic users like you. You're everything that's wrong with the world. Growing up, I was told I had a gift. I was strong. I was smart. I could achieve anything I set my mind to. And I was destined for greatness. Oh, great. She's an incel. <laughs> Natural talent doesn't mean squat when the world's full of weaklings and low lifes using magic to get whatever they want. You get all the glory while honest, hardworking folk like me are stuck with dead-end jobs. She sounds like somebody complaining about sorcery and Dark Souls. We get the scraps. <laughs> I heard Galetta was cheating her way out of that life while I was still stuck in the bottom rung of society. I had every right to be furious. You know, Paula, I actually considered inviting you to our guild. You're a good fighter. You could use someone with your skills. As if I'd accept a handout from losers like you. But see, there's the problem. Your personality. You sure seem <laughs> fine with taking handouts when it's from Janibals <laughs> and Verena. That's different, definitely, probably. Javis told me Verena wanted to take her magic back, and that with my strength, I could help make it happen. They recognized me for my natural talent and rewarded me for it. With unnatural talent. Don't think about it too hard. I don't like having to use magic for this job, but it's for the greater good. Wait, shit, this is literally fucking right-wing fascist indoctrination shit that's happened to her. Oh god, it really is, isn't it? Yeah, oh, fuck Ugh. me. The natural order will be set right when magic's gone. You know what? I actually kind of understand where you're coming from, Paula. Don't patronize me. No, I mean it. I think I finally get you. I know what it's like to feel like you're going nowhere in life. you stuck working yourself to death in a dead-end job for a boss who doesn't respect you, refuses to pay you more than he's legally obligated to. I feel like there's so much out there in the world and that you'll never get to experience any of it because your fate was decided at birth. It sucks. No two deserves that. That's why I'm doing my damnedest to get myself out of that life any way I can with the support of my friends. But you don't actually care about that struggle. You don't think that nobody should be treated like that. You just think the world owes you in particular. You want to leave in some fairytale meritocracy land where you're handed the world on a silver platter for your talent while riffraff like me stay at the bottom. Guess what? That ain't happening. I don't care if you think my magic makes me a cheater. 
Life doesn't need to be a competition, and I'm not weak for relying on others. I'm not going to stop fighting for. <laughs> I'm not going to stop fighting for a better life for myself and for Melody and for all of us. You have a problem with that? That's on you. Me? Balls. Well, you rehearsed that one ahead of time, Galita. Very moving. Still hate you, but, you know, A for effort. Well, it's been fun, but I have better places to be. Oh, we should have checked her pockets before we woke her up. Nah, let her run. I'm not afraid of her. That was pretty impressive little speech you gave back there. That was hot as fuck. Uh, thanks? All of this really got under my skin. Did you mean all that? Every word. I don't care what they think of me. I'm not just going to sit around and let those jerks hurt the... I'm not just going to sit around and let those jerks hurt the people I care about. Especially not you. Hey, wait. Does this mean we're talking again? Wait, boss. I'm still... frustrated. Not specifically with you, with everything, including myself. You have every right to be frustrated at me, though. I'm sorry for saying what I said back on the beach. No, I'm sorry for freaking out at you for being honest about your concerns. It wasn't right of me. This week has just been a lot. I don't know. I don't think I can really articulate my feelings very well at a time like this. But I do think I'm just seeing things a little clearer now, after talking to Claire and hearing what you had to say just now. And giving my girlfriend the cold shoulder probably isn't doing any good right now. Let's just work out the rest later, okay? Meatballs. Okay. If you still need some emotional space, I, I understand. But when you feel like talking about it, I'm all ears. You sure are. <laughs> I mean, thank you, Alistair. <laughs> I mean, literally, because I'm a... <laughs> oh, come here, you hot-ass rabbit. <laughs> oh. oh, the wags. I love you, Allison. I love you too, Melody. The little wags. Now, we've got a mission to focus on. I'm right there with you, Mel, but we still don't have a game plan. Yeah, about that. Claire and I actually have an idea we'd like to propose. We're getting married. Oh. Elsewhere. Oh. You find yourself falling. Through what? You aren't sure. Stardust? It's usually Stardust. Is it with the multiverse and Stardust anyway? Why is there so much of it? Why does it crusade? You never thought that you'd be so sick of seeing the wonders of space in person. For a moment, you miss home. But you know that there's no use looking back. You have to keep pushing forward. You get your bearings and steady your body. Wherever you've brought yourself, this one seems to be another dud. With a few hand gestures, you're suddenly somewhere else. Anywhere else. You zip to a few other planes, finding no signs of life. At this point, you'd be happy to see any solid ground at all. Anything but stardust and darkness. You'd even take an asteroid. You begin to fantasize for a moment about terraforming an asteroid, making yourself a cute little home on it. Maybe it's becoming lonely. French. <laughs> I'm becoming French? What? <laughs> yeah, living in a little asteroid. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be lonely and French, but anything would be better than this. <laughs> right as you're about to lose your last shred of hope, you zip to a new location and see the sun for the first time in what feels like ages. You're on an island. The sounds of the sea and the cool breeze on your face remind you of simpler times and soothe your nerves. Collapse with a contented sigh and relax for a moment, sprawled out on the grass. 
You instinctively breathe in the fresh air, even though your body no longer needs to breathe. Much of the island appears to be covered in forest, with several mauve mountains towering in the distance. The sky and the sea are a deep blue, the fluffy clouds a bright white. Higher in the sky, you faintly see that the planet you're on has two moons, one larger than the other. Yes. This one will do. Not wanting to be an intruder, you wonder if there are any locals you can introduce yourself to. Perhaps someone to tell you more about this unfamiliar world. After blinking around the island for a bit, you eventually come upon a large, scaly creature, the likes of which you've never seen in real life. The creature is startled by your sudden appearance and drops an armful of firewood to the ground. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is Verena. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to take her spoken dialogue? Oh, I'm so sorry. You say? I didn't mean to scare you. It occurs to you for a moment that you should probably should be the one who's more startled in this situation. In an effort to be nice, you don't point this out. Uh -uh. What, what did I even do for her? I'm a bit lost and wanted to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Sh sure, I suppose. The creature replies timidly. For starters, can you tell me what planet I'm on? You're kidding, right? You maintain a straight face. Wow, you really aren't kidding. What's your story? Are you an alien or something? Something like that. Wow, I've never met an alien before. Well, um, we call this planet Reverie. You ponder this for a moment. Hmm, Reverie, huh? That's a new one. It has a nice ring to it, though. What's your name? The scaly creature asks. My name's Zinnia. Nice to meet you, Zinnia. I'm... Farina! Hey, Farina! You in there, lady? Hey, there you are. Sorry, I must have dozed off. I never figured a goddess would need so much sleep. Well, my body was specially modified to handle more magic than you can fathom. It can be tiring. Plus, when you're 1,034 years old, you start to realize how few things are worth being awake for. What happened to you? I'd rather not talk about it. Don't make this difficult, Paula. Meatballs. Kalita kicked my ass, okay? And then her girlfriend took away the magic you gave me. Galita? Allison Galita. The rabbit? Oh, yes, she's that strong, huh? I suppose this is going to be interesting after all. It was just a fluke. I relied too heavily on your magic and burnt myself out. There's no way Galita's stronger than me. I'm conf- Oh my god, look at the flags. I'm confused, mm -hmm. though. You lost to the enemy, and yet now you're here. They didn't capture you, hold you prisoner, torture you for information, anything like that. Oh yeah, her eyes are back to normal too, huh? Mm -hmm. Nah, they're too chicken. I mean, one of them's a cow. Uh, it's, it's not important. They actually healed me and let me get away. Can you believe that? How strange. Meatballs. Look, I know this wasn't part of the plan, but if you give me another shot, I know I can beat her. That won't be necessary. Besides, I've already powered you up once against my better judgment, and it looks like your body disliked that. Which I'm guessing is why they drained your mana, correct? Doing it again so soon could kill you. This won't, like, affect my standing in the New World Order or whatever, will it? <laughs> oh, definitely. You're being demoted to court jester. Meatballs! <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god, lighten up, Paula. Come to me through fire and war. 
Trans girl Trish, thank you for the follow. Welcome. welcome. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, go get some rest before the big show. Now, where's Javis? Still building the actual palace. I think I'll go check on him. Oh Ooh. my god. Oh. She kind of reminds me of a, um, a gypsy a little bit. Oh. I know this arrangement is only temporary, but these planners do add some much needed color to the place in the meantime. Not nearly as much color as Javis usually likes to work with, but color nonetheless. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to help you right now? Man, your hair's got a big dumpy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that hair's gonna make me act up. Holy I don't want to be dead weight. I want to prove my usefulness to you. You've already done plenty, dear. Besides, you aren't exactly gonna be striking fear in the hearts of our enemies if you're running on fumes now, are you? Yeah, but I could at least, like, I don't know, help with the cooking or sweep the floors, anything. Lick your boots. <laughs> I have magic to do those things, Paula. Including the boot licking. <laughs> what about? Your eagerness to debase yourself is kind of adorable, but it's unnecessary. Javis keeps telling me I des deserve a larger sorry, but I don't know. Lord, you're sorry? I had a burp. Oh, okay. I had to hide. It's not the most imposing, but it's great for naps. My queen, my queen, look! I've just put the finishing touches on the statue of your... Great. Oh my, how marvelous. You've really captured my likeness, dear. It's like I'm looking in a mirror. Thank you so much, my queen. Our locals were very disparaging of my heart, so your words of encouragement mean a lot to me. If you really love it that much, I think I'll start on a second one right away. If you'd like, but don't tire yourself out now. Oh, we can't get into the menu at this point. I'm sad. No. It is quite impressive, but do I always look this tired? Level 99. Level 99. A lot of money, too. Or was that just ours? I think that's just ours. I stole all their money. Ha 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 Oh. Oh, boy. You don't remember oh, who did what here. Eh, not so killer now, huh, Ray? This isn't fair, brother. I'm using the inferior third-party controller. Should have called dibs. <laughs> Javis only made you a few weeks ago. How do you boys already have opinions on these things? Father created us to be highly knowledgeable to aid in your conquering of reverie. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm sure all this will be really crucial for the mission. You never know. Shouldn't you boys be out on patrol? We are on break, my queen. Oh, okay, cool. Well, have fun. Hey, do you feel left out, Bigby? Since you don't have hands? Not at all! My ability to manipulate air currents is more than adequate to simulate the fine motor skills required for gaming. Yep, he already beat Ray twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Queen of Magic, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mother. <laughs> I'm not... I already told you I'm not your mother. Meatballs. No, I didn't mean it like... Look, I'm sorry. You know I'm still figuring things out. <laughs> I just don't want you to get the wrong idea. Meatballs. Aunt, perhaps? Sure, fine. Sorry, ma'am. Not now. Gaming. <laughs> I must focus on the game right now, my queen. Father will be very disappointed in me if my win-loss record dips too low. <laughs> Amazing. Excellent. 
this it's the mother three vibes of this area are continuing to skyrocket oh good the graphic design team really did a great job on my emblem they did minecraft skins the slarpage party oh, oh good. precious they're playing puyu puyu tetris i kind of figured <laughs> they were probably playing smash <laughs> I assume Smash, but I like Puyo Puyo Tetris. Ah, uh, good morning, my queen! Or afternoon, I suppose. I apologize for your current accommodations being so rugged, but I am pleased to report that progress on the palace continues smoothly. It's truly my most magnificent work to date. But please, no peeking just yet. These beast folk are strange, Javert. I mean, Javis, I'm sorry, look, it's rubbing off on me. I, I didn't mean it. Javis, Javis. It's, it's Javis. It it's is Javis. Javis. Hello, Javis. Hi. Hi, Hi. Marina. Hi, Hi. Javis. Hi. I'm Javis. <laughs> Did you hear that? Instead of letting her succumb to mana poisoning, they actually healed Paula, even after fighting her. Who? Paula, the polar bear. Meatballs. <laughs> the Coca-Cola mascot lady, <laughs> our new recruit. Oh, yes, that one. Am I going to have to get you one of those spinning children's toys that <laughs> teach you the names of animals? I guarantee that I would not retain that information, my queen. <laughs> As for the beasts hand healing our recruit, probably some sort of trickery to lower our defenses. Or perhaps they wanted to send our disgraced commander back here as a show of power. Perhaps. They also took away the magic you so graciously gave her. That doesn't sound very benevolent to me. I'm still not so sure, Javis. Our opposition just isn't what I expected based on past experiences. I would still not underestimate them, my queen. But rest assured, whatever they're scheming, they'll be no match for my forces. Javis, the point is to let me test their strength. Yes, well, I wouldn't want to waste your time with unworthy challengers. I'll be screening them for you. Well, thank you for the chat, Javis. I'll let you get back to work. I think some fresh air will do me some good. Maybe I'll do a little sightseeing. See how my old haunts are doing. Oh, I'm not sure I would advise that, my queen. I worry that your personal attachments to this place may make this painful. I know. But I think it's time to rip that bandage off. Wow, she just does have. Well, this place sure wasn't here a thousand years ago. The technology certainly seems a lot more modern. But is that thanks to my magic or just the passage of time? It seems as if the life has been completely sucked out of this land with magic, though. How dreadful. Wait, the elves here look... different. Why are they... Oh my god, is magic being used to raise the dead? This is too much. I need to go someplace else. <clears throat> oh, my old gardens. Still as beautiful as ever, but it seems like they've seen better days. It's kind of an oxymoron, I feel like. <laughs> if the gardens are in ruins, then... Meatballs. Oh, come on, Verena. If you can't face this, then you're hopeless. Here goes nothing. Oh my. Meatballs. This... This is it. My old magic school. It really was destroyed. Left in ruins since that day. This is where Zinnia... Where... I mean, of course this is the state it's in. Why did I allow myself to hope otherwise? God, why did I have to go back to this place? What the hell am I doing here? Stupid Verena, stupid. My queen, I was worried I'd find you here. Oh, I'm sorry you have to see me like this, Javis. 
I thought I'd buried this pain deep down centuries ago, but it's all coming back to me like it was yesterday. No need to apologize. Permission to speak freely as a friend. Of course. You know you don't have to ask. You've always been a very giving person, Brianna. You gave these people so much, just you've given me so much. You took me in and allowed me to become your second in command. But you've come a long way since that fateful day we found each other in the void. You've grown stronger in spite of it all. I admire that in you. I worry, though, that returning here is making you regress. It's noble of you to want to give this plan a second chance. But these people have done nothing to deserve it. Look around you. Your kindness Just is wasted on this horrid world. I mean, what are these things? Birds? What even are those? <laughs> You're... You're right, Javis. I wanted to believe that maybe, just maybe, what I did had improved the world after all, in spite of everything. But it didn't. This world really did just use me and discard me. Because I let my guard down. I was soft. I won't make that mistake a second time. Thank you for your words of encouragement, Javis. Now come along. We've got preparations to make for the final phase of the plan. Oh, my daughter. Oops. Yeah, the story is just... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> so, now that we're all here and we've had time to clear our heads, what's this idea you had? Okay. Well, Claire and I got to talking about Verena, and something seems off. Think about it. Verena had Green Ridge. Her side had already won, and she let us go. There were no casualties, they took no prisoners. All that effort, and they just left. Why? It seemed like they just did that to toy with us. This is all some big test, remember? That's what she said, but that doesn't sound anything like the Verena that Zinnia told us about. You think Verena has other motives? Well, we can sit here and debate Verena's motives all day, but where exactly are we going with this? This might sound crazy, but... What if we were the ones to face... What What if we were the ones to face Verena? Also notice, um, Alice and Melody are sitting directly next to each other uh, again. Yay! <laughs> Love wins, everyone. Love wins. But instead of fighting her, we just tried talking to her. Hmm. You know, she did have some valid points back there about the damage people have done with magic. It sounds like she wants to clean up the environment and stuff. There's common ground there. Exactly. After everything we've learned, I don't think she's out to cause harm for harm's sake. Javis and his goons have been a total menace, though, and they're taking orders from Verena. I know. Maybe I'm being naive. But I think the Verena who bettered all our lives with a single act of kindness is still in there. Zinnia knows her better than any of us, and she said that something bad happened that would explain why she feels this way. Zinnia, are you sure you can't tell us more? Meatballs. Believe me when I say it would only complicate things further. You're better off not knowing. Uh, regardless... Sometimes people who have been hurt don't think they have a lot of options, and they need someone to reach out to them. If we do that, maybe she'll see that there's no reason for us to be fighting in the first place. Zinnia, your take? I don't know what's happened to Verena since the incident. A lot can change in a thousand years, and I don't know why she's working with people like Javert and Paula. I'd like to believe that she's still the same Verena I knew. I support this plan. Still, I, I don't know if you can avoid a fight. There's a whole army standing between you and Verena. Well, it's a fight they won, it's a fight they'll get. We aren't gonna run head, run, head rush first, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Faith. <laughs> we got a few days, we'll keep training, and we'll find the best gear we can. If we go unprepared, I think we stand the best chance of ending this. 
Meatballs. Jody? Maybe my word doesn't mean much to you at this point, but I trust their judgment on this, and I'm going to keep them safe. Well, it sounds like we've got a plan, then. Claire, as guardian of Greenridge, I give you my blessing. I won't let you down, Faith. I just hope this hunch you have about Rena is correct. Oh yeah, power of friendship time. Ah. Uh, before you go, I've got a few gifts for you that will help you with the task ahead. First, for Melody. I've trained many spellcasters over the years, so believe me when I say I know a talented healer when I see one. However, it seems like you have a lot on your plate. Allow me to clean it off for you. <laughs> One of my signature spells should help clear your mind a bit in battle. Ooh. Dragonskiri. This spell consolidates your status restoring spells like Herbal Cure and Purify into one spell. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Zinnia. I also want to give you this key. It would let you reach Verena on the tallest mountain on the island. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, I love that stinger. It's so good. Very good. It opens some other specially marked doors where I've stashed items in case of an emergency, too. Ooh. You'll find those all over. One door in particular guards something helpful for reaching new areas around the island. Ooh. Seriously, we can't thank you enough for all your help here, Zinnia. Are you sure there isn't anything we can do to return the favor? Oh, I'm just doing my job, dear. Now, if you want to train, then I suggest you seek out more experience in the field. I'm sure there are people all over the Sapphire Islands who could use your help at a time like this. If you want more training from me, though, feel free to talk to me anytime. I've got a little extra credit assignment for you, if you're interested. You mean a quest? I do mean a quest, but that's entirely up to you. For now, class dismissed. Oh boy. Absolutely we're going for extra credit. Oh. Oh. What in training? Zinnia, you've already helped us out a lot, but I have another favor to ask. Of course. Shoot. Do you think you could help me train as a paladin? Hmm. Well, I could try, but I think you'd be better off getting help from someone who knows more about your chosen specialization. Well, I'm a resolute paladin. Uh, take care, Twinkle Choose. Nice to see you here. Have a good night. Get some good sleep. Should I look for some kind of self-help guru to help with my confidence? Not quite. Why don't you try asking Holly? She's a resolute paladin herself, and also one of the most confident fighters I've ever seen. Oh, big lady. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll talk to Holly then. Thanks, Zinnia. Any time, dear. Extra credit. So, what was that extra credit assignment you had in mind for us, Zinnia? Oh, I'm glad you asked. If you're interested, just step into the other room over to the right. The door's open now. I think we are going to probably try and do all the things... Like, yeah. I want more supper lesbians. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Nice holodeck. <laughs> Welcome to my personal holodeck. This should be the perfect place for you to practice. This room is able to magically morph to suit your needs, and it can also generate simulated foes for you to fight based on your memories. Just touch the crystals and you'll have rematches with the boss level foes you've previously fought. It's only a simulation, though, so if you change your mind, you can flee from these battles. Oh, this is incredible, Zinnia. Thanks for letting us use it. Yeah, no kidding. You just have this in your house? I mean, I've trained a lot of guardians. I'm not going to have them sparring in my living room. You know, if we had access to this place a few days ago, it probably would have solved a lot of problems. You're never going to let me leave the basement dungeon down, are you? Looks like we've got room for more simulations, should you fight any more boss-level foes. 
<laughs> ah, red. I assume it's for the actual fights. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Ian Lara this kid. Big Dust Bunny EX, absolutely. <laughs> Look at it. Hey, I don't mean to interrupt you guys or anything, but what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a good question. What? Why is it just the Dust Bunny in a cardboard box? Excuse me? Excuse me the fuck? Hey, this is different than I remember it, I think. Oh, it's also a lot tougher, huh? Oh dear. Oh, we've got the smooches back also. Love wins. Yay. Just as buff as it was back then. Fair enough. My, my memory bad sometimes, so... <laughs> Did he still have the championship belt? I'm not sure. It is Pinker. <sighs> not towards the ending on Christmas because you wanted to avoid people telling to enjoy your time with family. Understandable. Kind of wanted to see the ending pronto so you could let it rule your brain. Also understandable. Music in this game fucking slaps. It really does. <sighs> Great work. Don't ask how the you're gonna be able to take that cardboard box out of here if it's not real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pinker version of the Big Dust Bunny back to reclaim his Chifeless Champion. <laughs> Jody never got to fight the original, so this is like a rite of passage for her. Wonderful. Oh. Now, is this like a healing pad, or...? I hear you've been working on a bestiary. If you missed some entries in the scrambled areas that you previously restored, you can use this to visit recreations of their corresponding monster dens. I've also got one of the for the Flurry Mountains in case you already cleared out all of those monsters in here during our previous training exercises. Aww. Would you like to simulate a monster den? Nice. That's cool. Oh. Now can we like get a cup of tea or have a nap oh. or something? I'm very fast. <laughs> she sure is. Wow, this carriage looks really comfortable. Ah. Four lesbians sleeping on one couch. Mm-hmm. Ultimate pretzel form. <laughs> the core guardian. Gore guardian. Now is this just regular? I didn't say EX. Mm. I mean if it goes down in one round then Yeah. There's only three seats, who's the lap lesbian? <laughs> ah. I mean, I feel like Melody would be the softest. Mm -hmm. Claire would sleep on their legs. Oh, on their laps. I thought you said on her legs. She just sleeps standing up like a regular cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melody and Allison share a seat. Yeah, absolutely. It is doing one damage. So, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mean boss! <laughs> we love the Trash King. Jody lays on the couch, everyone rests on top of her solid body. Oh, it'd be like sleeping on a marble slab. Oh. Return the slab. 
<laughs> it is the return of the king. Huh. <laughs> the king's corrupted, so, uh... No. Sorry about that king. Trying desperately to remember any Armello quotes, and they're all gone. <laughs> Ar Armello belongs to me. Probably. I built this kingdom. I'll destroy it. Or whatever. Outlander. Outlander. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, fair, yeah. I understand not wanting to be overleveled for the final dungeon. Hmm. Great work. So cute, and we are gonna beat them up so much. Oh yes. But that's okay because they're not real. I, I love how this random boss also turned out to be a lesbian. Yes. <laughs> Just lesbians everywhere. Lesbians all the way down. It's fantastic. I struggle to think of any hetero people in this game, and that's wonderful. Glyph is a lesbian? Yeah! Hello! There's a fortune teller who is straight. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm glad that there's some straight representation in this. They're <laughs> an un underrepresented um, community, and they deserve it. It does just kind of seem pandering if it's not, like, plot-specific to have I, a hetero character, but... Yeah, that's true, but... Um... <laughs> the evil cat did reproduce asexually. God, I forgot how good the gumball Goliath was. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my goodness. Should have changed up the music. the Jackson Sleet RPG? Eventually? <laughs> question mark? As soon as I can finish that um, alternate dimension without the flow of time where I can just go to make it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that was how the spicy gumball guys do. Just insult you. <laughs> Real big spicy little gumball guy. <laughs> Who's our spicy little gumball guy? Who's our spicy gumball guy? <laughs> One of my favorite sprites in this game. Very good. Oh, I guess it was corrupted. Ah, hell yeah. Okay. Greenridge is kind of this pocket of queer folks with the information. Yeah, it does kind of feel that way, especially with what Claire was talking about high school. Yeah. Ah, oh, fight the powered up Paula. Absolutely, we're going to kick her ass again. Power oh. Paula. Now, do you think that she's going to. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna just real quick get everyone's MP right back up to scratch oh, yeah. because time for time for bed. Do we want to switch up the music too? I did switch up the music. Oh, good. What -da -da -da. I gotta get something else to drink. I've been talking a lot. Do it, do it, do it. Just work on the Jackson Sleep RPG for ten years. Yeah. Oh my god. Lighting and everything just ah. Oh. Wait, hang on. The music's not different. There we go.
keep summoning this virtual Paula and then running away to tinker with things. It's very good. Why didn't you run away from the real me? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just work on the Jackson Sleet RPG for 10 years. Chat, if only you knew how much my free time consists of the window we have to do <laughs> the streams in. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Huh. Virtual Paula or Virtualala? Mm -hmm. Virtualala. <clears throat> Virtual Chance. A barrier up around Claire. There we go. A Claire here. Mm -hmm. Oh god. And making time for stuff is hard. Like, <laughs> is it so? I, I had my entire weekend schedule thrown completely out of whack because some baking equipment I needed for the last part of the Monster Bread video did not arrive on time. Oh, so, yeah. <clears throat> Which, I guess, on the plus side meant that I had a more restful weekend, but on the minus side, it means that it's going to be a little bit before I can actually finish that up. Wait, no, lovely aura. There we go. I mean, on the plus side, she doesn't, like, die halfway through the battle of mana poisoning this time around, so... Yeah. <laughs> Paula being witched weak to glitchcraft is a brilliant touch. He's literally a psychophant for shit that's killing her. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. That's a good point. I didn't even pick up on that, that's fucking amazing. Oh, juicy. Man. So, that's how strong Paula was with Verena's power, huh? Neat balls. Are you okay, Zinnia? Hmm? Oh, sorry, lost in thought for a second there. Great work, though. Paula was no pushover. Haha. -ha. Welcome to my boobala haga do karik tangala ho cha maza gata ababa. Ribbity hibbity bibbity bibbity. Love turning transparent and sinking into the ground. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. <laughs> That's how I want to go out. your deathbed and you turn transparent <laughs> with a big yeah. rumble and you sink into the grave. <laughs> exactly. And then everybody in the room levels up. Yes. have done that text before. Okay, well. Yes. Okay, we, we did the extra credit. Anything else we should be doing? Anything else you think we should be doing right now? Well, I know things are serious, but we still got a few days left until Verena's deadline. It wouldn't be a bad idea to check on your loved ones back in Greenridge. See if everything's okay with them. It probably wouldn't hurt for me to see if Faith needs anything. Perhaps your new friends in the desert, too, while you're at it. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I forgot about oh, fucking... Please, we have to see her fully yeah. on... Untransformed. Okay. 
so... Tough. <laughs> oh. Big old question mark in the Amber Woods there, huh? Hmm. Several big question marks. Okay, so we're... Usually those are just floating above my head at all times. Also go into the Uncanny Valley again. We should do that. Was that where we fought that big fucking bird? I think so. Oh, I, I don't want to go through this goddamn cavern again. <laughs> I'm quite done with Mount Moon, thank you very much. Hey, does everything taste green to you guys? Oh. Yeah, There's somebody sleeping. here, but he's asleep. Oh yeah, that guy, he's always here. I've heard he's been here as long as anyone can remember, actually. No idea what this deal is, but people call him the Dream Knight. Is he okay? Should we help him or something? Maybe someone up in the valley knows more about him. That area is a magnet for people interested in ancient magic. That sounds like a plot hook if I've heard one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like this place. It reminds me of um, Star Road from Secret of the Seven Stars, Religion of the oh, Seven yeah, Stars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where you get to see everybody's wishes that they've made on a star. It's so oh, sad. yeah. And Luigi's like, I, 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 want, I want a video game. Or something like that. <laughs> Legend of the Seven Magicans. Legend of the Seven Magicans. Wait, that wasn't the Uncanny Valley then. Where is the Uncanny Valley? Notice your restraint as you force yourself not to spoil cool story points. I appreciate the restraint. I, I applaud your restraint. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is where the Uncanny Valley is, I think. North, cliffside path, yeah. A lot of oh, wishes for bigger like a little, up here. There's like a little north. Oh yeah, that's there's right. Wishes for bigger boobs. Oh. Oh, spooky. I think we tried to go here before and everyone was like, no, we, we should keep focused. Oh. Huh. Hi. Hey. Oh, this... Once again, very good battle music. Mm -hmm. Hey, who lit the pine cone on fire? <laughs> Probably Allison. Bowser just wants big bung honkaloos because he needs more places to put spiky bracelets on. <laughs> just been like, well, so how that whole Bowser thing went down. Guess I'm gonna give the people what they want. <laughs> Treasure chest. Yum yum yum. Coward's thinking he needed to be made hot. What is that? Oh, it's cerulean armor doing a JoJo it's, pose. It has a very JoJo pose. There's a number of directions it's facing in. Mm -hmm. Very early Iraqi JoJo pose. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the shoulder tires. Like, oh! Oh, one of the armor types loses power as you weaken it. Okay, duly noted, we need to beat this thing up very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Let's 
just judges pose is just fashion model posing anyhow. True. Specifically, yeah, and I forget the Ooh. name of the person that a lot of those inspirations came from. It was like a Brazilian fashion mix. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh. If you don't love it, it's, it's whatever this is, then you don't deserve it that it's <laughs> normal. Fucking good. Marilyn Monroe said that? Absolutely she did. Ah. Oh. Oh, what was that? I was looking away. It's a wizard hat. Oh, of course. Ah. Player can't wear it because her hat is inherently better. <laughs> there already has a cool hat, but someone else might like it. <laughs> oh. I love the arbitrary item restrictions in this video game. Absolutely. Man, they're gonna bother me until I can find this now. Oh? There was some fashion icon whose name I can't remember that uh, a lot of. Araki took a lot of inspiration from. Oh. I'm seeing Tony Veramontes. That might be it, but I feel like there's. Or a player's hat. I like that idea. Oh, Man, look at these little like flowers. Gucci special. He did a Gucci special issue. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, he's done a bunch of special issues. Like. I mean, the one that comes to mind is uh, Rohan visits the Louvre. The, the Louvre. The Louvre. The, the funny art gallery in Paris. Yeah. to Arby's, my Claire. <laughs> Wait, no, Wendy's. They're, oh. fre they're fresh, never frozen. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense than we have the meat. <laughs> <laughs> sure does! <laughs> Why are you trying to have Claire's meat? I did think that said Jody has been cancelled for just a moment there. <laughs> no! Mm -hmm. Rocky and the very pretty spirit power people. Mm -hmm. I'm into popcorn. Come blowing, blowing, blowing. Jody Pencil for grill crimes. There's definitely a picture floating around there of Jody as uh, Mr. Dink, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, exclamation point girl balls, by the way. <laughs> you grill pineapple and put it on a burger? 
That sounds fucking delicious. It does. And it's like perfect burger shapes if mm -hmm. you cut it right. Touch my grill melody. <laughs> You know, these signposts are pointing in exactly the opposite direction of where we're going, but... Excellent. Eh. Is this what wizards did for fun before they had stuff like the internet or contact juggling balls? Just leave big cubes out <laughs> in the woods? <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. The best wizards get up in the morning because they know even their most trivial actions will continue to perplex strangers long after they're gone. It's kind of like modern art. The actual purpose of the cube is less important than the fact that it's making us think. Oh god, yeah, wizards love that stuff. Oh, I'm glad I got a little cute interaction for just, like, looking at that thing. <laughs> oh, is this... Oh, I guess there was, like, a barrier? Keeping us from going that way before? Sounds vaguely familiar. Now, these are the gardens that uh, Verena was in earlier. Okay, and here's... Ah, a door! A ball. <laughs> Instructions for a spell. Ah, oh, yeah! Blorm! Blorm! <laughs> I know it! We've been seeing those flowers and bodies of water all over the place for days. No suspiciously placed plant can stand in our way now. <laughs> hey, where'd all these lampshades come from? <laughs> Boom! Wait. Oh, it is a good day. Oh. Hmm. Uh, uh, this? A, little, a little singed still. Hmm. Oh! A short while ago. Personally, I was going for something more... Ah, oh, hello, boys. What brings you here? Father, we are bored. Very! Yep. Meat balls. My queen, do you think now is the time? I think it is. Our guests of honor have yet to RSVP. Let's bring a bit of the party to them. Do you remember where your targets are located, boys? Yes, father. Excellent. Go make me proud, boys. Ugh. Hmm. <laughs> Had to very carefully space that one out. I thought they were supposed to wait for us. I guess they got tired of waiting, like follow before them. Hmm, I mean, ultimately, if we stop Verena, that'll resolve everything, right? But I bet whoever's in here has some pretty good loot. Oh boy. Sons of Juicebox. Oh! Hey! Oh, wow. You're cool dungeon, here. asshole. Yeah! Meatballs. I don't think we've run into you as much as your brothers. Eight balls. Not very talkative, are we? Correct. Enter or no, you're destroying the park. Are you gonna leave peacefully or do we have to do things the hard way? Meatballs. Prepare yourselves. Oh. Sweet. Clock wizard. Clizzard. Oh, and the music is good. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Uh oh. That's probably not good. Oh, he's pretty. 
Oh. <laughs> do I? Do you hate Clizzard? You can't decide. <laughs> it is a mystery. Oh, he's weak to high kicks. Good to know. <laughs> That's where all my clocks are. <laughs> you kicked me directly in the clock. <laughs> Ow, my clock hurts. <laughs> I can't believe we turn one corrupted this asshole. <laughs> Wait. The... Something in the backing track just said video games. Those things are the worst. Is that what that was? I heard yeah. someone talking. I couldn't make it out. Fighting one of the brothers is the first time one of my party members fainted. Oh my god. I'm still surprised we don't get like an ultimate for filling up our star power. Yeah. I mean, there's some attacks that definitely get more powerful with more star, star power. Steer pure. Steer um, pure. Steer pure. Melody, I love this grill more than breathing. If you damage it, I'll, I'll break your break your freaking butt. If I didn't have faith, I'd, I'd freaking smooch this grill. It'd be my wife, my grill wife. Oh, what a grill boss. <laughs> oh. Oh, don't use Shadow's Grasp. Oh, well, he's frozen solid, so it's fine. It's not good. Or Riot Grill. <laughs> Roy and all his brothers have the same amount of HP. Oh. Mm. This weather be. Man. I got all the same amount of HP and it's a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I've really got to sw switch Melody's spellbook out because Big Rocks is just not doing much for me. <laughs> yeah. You want the exact number? Not really. I imagine it's like 69420 or something like that. I sure hope so. That's how much HP I have. Oh. Which is good because that means that it takes more than one 9999 attack to bring you down. How dare you? What? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's good. I mean, it's the fact that you've got that much HP is good because it means it takes a lot more attacks to bring you down. I don't know what, <laughs> why you <laughs> think that was a bad thing. The problem is I misheard you and I thought you said it took more than 8,999. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In other words, it would take attacks to tur above that number. Is exactly. what you is what that's you thought what I was, I was getting at. No, that's understandable. <laughs> I would I would be mad at me too. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Oh, hey! Don't do that. Hey! Don't do that. Uh. 
あうん。Oh, I see. Okay, it only lasts that one turn. So I don't need the Earth Shield melody.、Mm. I, I hope. Yeah, because I think Claire attacked after Claire attacked.、Mm. Life bar seems to be going down a lot less the closer to done he is. Yeah. Whoa. There we go. Nice. And then Allison ate him. <laughs> yeah! Everybody levels up. Mm hmm. Mate, bows. Farewell. I didn't have a good、oh. voice for him anyway. No. Oh, sweet. Exceptionally powerful one built t h r e e magic. Mama. Bang. That's good. Okay, yeah, let's change up Melody's spellbook. I think Chronomancer was honestly doing it for me. Chronomancer was really good. When do we get to see the scene where Jackson s l e e p power up for the final boss? You know, I've got like a half hour long power of friendship sequence before、mm -hmm. the final boss. It's in her contract.、Uh -huh. Okay. Let's check the map. Oh, I see. Oh, they're all over the place. Right. That makes sense.、Yeah. Okay, I think we've seen those question marks now. I'm sure I don't remember where all those funny flowers have been. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, yeah, that, the game throwing a lampshade <laughs> on just how.、Um, yeah, how momentous is <laughs> very good. Ah,、oh, simply. <laughs> Oh, hey, you gatekeeper! Good to see、hey, you. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate、yeah. it. Well, my love, would you please give them a little shout out? <laughs> Wizard Boy Rebirth soon. Oh, 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 shit. Are you getting a new model? Oh, oh man. s t a r t y o u Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I hope you had a good stream. What were you up to in Stardew? Why are the stars so dewy? Oh, you're debuting at Wednesday night? Hell yes, that's exciting. Second spring. Oh. That's okay, Fjord. Good to see you, sis. Hello. Hell、oh, yeah. Absolutely recommend you folks、uh, check out The Gatekeeper. Really good stuff. 
excited to see the new model, too. Yee. Oh, you went to your, you went and did some... Excuse me, you went and did some commander. Hell yes. Aw, oh, red. Uncanny balance. That's my precious Hydras. Mm-hmm. All 1v1. I kind of prefer 1v1 magic TBQH. Yeah, I kind of do too. It's a different dynamic for sure. There's a lot less, like, you know, when to become aggressive, uh, politicking and all that, which is cool, but... Mm -hmm. I just like sparring with you, James. <laughs> it comes down to. The chaos of a bunch of people is kind of fun. God, I wonder if we could... Like, I've seen some sites out there for simulating uh, magic drafts. Like, doing... Uh, doing that for Phyrexia might be interesting. That when do we encounter Poison Frog Ball? Right now. Right now. Yeah. <clears throat> we should look after Melody because it is the sort of frog I presume it to be. That's some bad stuff. Uh oh. Oh, oh you were afraid that it was going to curse blowed? I think just those poisonous tree frogs are like hella poisonous. True, true. Poison, the poison frog. Ooh, gold. Oh, well, I'm glad that we got that one there. With your super lesbian powers combined, I am unable to make this a funny joke. Still appreciate the bits, though, Delta. Thank you. Powerful. Oh, another mysterious mechanism. How fun. It kind of looks like there's supposed to be a bridge here. This pedestal's probably connected to that. Maybe we need to find a key to fit in that hole. Come on, let's just wade across the river. It's like two feet deep. Yeah, listen, the water here is glowing neon blue. I don't trust that. Probably supercharged with mana or electrolytes or something. <laughs> What's so dangerous about a mana river? Aren't our bodies full of mana now? Your body's also full of blood, but if you saw a river of blood, you wouldn't have <laughs> to <laughs> What'd you be? I mean, no, but if you told me not to, I'd be a little tempted. Stop! Blorm. Blorm. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, okay, it's not a button. Cool obelisk. Mm -hmm. Clobelisk. Clobelisk. Allison is fantastic. Oh boy. Mystery Beam! I should check in at the magic shop. I wonder if there's other spell books to be had. Hey, you can't chain us. We're the chain doers. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, Jax, I have a great idea for a really funny joke. Do tell. Uh, wouldn't it be hilarious if I was right back? Love that woman, chat. She's such a weirdo. I love her so much. Best of luck fighting the sons of VHS Dill. Stop! 
Fucking <laughs> theme spell, but with a healing spell that heal hits the whole party, call it Time Heals All Wounds. Beautiful. I also thought we were past the VHS bill. Uh, I would love to get beyond the VHS bill. Well. Think that should be our raid phrase. Oh. I mean, you're right, but... Oh. Oh, we... Also, yes, depending on who we're raiding. I might not want that at all. Good group, it's great. It's like we're taking you all on a field trip and we're constantly threatening to turn it around. Or stream around, I mean. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go on a quick magical girl adventure to stop a demon that was terrorizing the local mall. Oh, understandable. How did that go? Mall's gone. So bad. It's pretty bad. Okay. Was it your fault that the mall was gone? I mean, it was my fault I didn't see the text until it mostly already happened. Oh. I mean, that's... Fair and like what are they <laughs> what, research. It's great. What what are they gonna do? Call you? Nobody answers their phone. Exactly. Think I don't screen my calls for all the fucking scam artists? I, I saw something that went for my soul earlier and that's just an image of someone with their phone ringing and it just said me googling the number that's ringing instead of answering it. <laughs> like, you can't. You can't. I literally do that. <laughs> yeah, I do that all the time. Because like nine times out of goddamn ten, it's just nothing. It's like it's fucking this is USPS or this is Canada Border Service Agency. You have, you have a warrant out for your arrest. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. VHS of kink game. Well. <laughs> Gonna eat your teeth. Delta. And <laughs> fucking get you. I wanna make a nice cup of hot cocoa and put your teeth in it like marshmallows. <laughs> I am going to ask gently. Please. Can we stop saying VHS dill? I am so sick of that phrase. <laughs> I am going to sip also.
Oh god, now we've got to explain. No, we don't. <laughs> There's a Tumblr sexy man in this game that's a major antagonist, and they've got a VHS cassette for a head. That's all you need to know. Can't call him a DV dill. Oh my god, what's the name of that? <clears throat> Here's a fun story for chat. So, we haven't done it in quite a while, actually, but something that uh, my local friends and I used to love to do was um, peruse uh, like thrift shops and Goodwills and stuff for uh, weird VHS tapes to go back and watch. Mm -hmm. To get like really weird, you know, shitty movies and stuff. We had some, some real gold a few times, but I'm trying to think now of one that we found that was very terrifying. What the hell was it called? I forget what was written on the label. It was like a handwritten label, but it had something written on it that sounded very much like it might have been the recording of somebody murdering somebody else. Oh, no. But it, it turned out to be like an episode of the Andy Griffith show <laughs> that just had a, a funky name. <laughs> we got it. We're like, well, we have to see what this is, even if it, even if we have to see a crime happening. Oh, and a critter. Poor thing. We better find a place for this little guy to stay, along with the other one that I don't think we did anymore. Yeah, have well, I ever like... watched In Search of the Wow Wow Wibble Woggle Wazzle Woodle Woo? Excuse me. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I feel like I would have remembered that name. Is that anything like bo 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 bo? Most unintentionally distressing video I've ever seen. Oh boy. Got a little bit of spackle of corruption around here. That's probably fine. <clears throat> Love just the NES RPG stairs there. <laughs> so you finally decided to quit cowering in fear and face me. I don't believe we've had a formal introduction. They call me Killer Ray. So does that mean you've killed people? No. Then who calls you that? Who's they? My dad. <laughs> My brothers. Because I asked them to. So, I tire of your questions, Harrys. I did not come here for an interview. I am here to do battle with my father's most hated foes and win his favor in the process. I am positive that after this battle you'll be feeling quite negative if you're able to feel anything at all. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Cool. Nice, cool. nice kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you have the concept of magnets in this dimension, correct? How a beam attack will have a greater effect on a target with the opposite polarity? Well, if you aren't familiar, consider this a lesson. That's not how magnets work. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How do magnets work? Well, they definitely don't affect light. Well, hmm. they sort of do, but not in that way. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Hey, Tartan Jody. What? What? Okay, we're all negatively charged now. I don't know how we change our polarity. I don't think we can. Me either, but I think it's gonna break our phones. Mm hmm. I guess it's fine because they don't work anyway. True. When mommy, mommy and daddy make each other, they attach together. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Excellent first time chat. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> and that's how Magneton is born.
Okay, so I don't think there's much we can actually do about the polarities. I would presume not. <clears throat> Maybe Dragon Scare? Did you try that already? I didn't try that, but I, I don't think so. I say what it does work on. Player needs the sack book? Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> Like a MacBook, but nasty. <laughs> that was Facebook buffer. We'll get that spray bottle again. <laughs> speaking in gibberish. Okay, understandable. I mean, not understandable, but, you know. Like, explicitly the opposite. Uh -huh. Am I playing up the disgust of the phrase VHS Dill like I did with King Game? I think I'd just like to move on from VHS Dill, TVQH. <laughs> playing it up a little bit, maybe, but also, yes. <laughs> Please. <Yeah. laughs> Please. Do we need a safe word? Christ. Christ alive. Oh, God. Okay. I just kind of triggered Alice. <laughs> Not what I meant. <laughs> Unnatural 20. <laughs> but sure. <laughs> I wasn't even polarized, you dickbag. Stop producing our girlfriend a constituent carbon. Uh, for you too, huh, Melody? Oh. Oh. He's earning his nickname, that's a good point. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, he's definitely targeting Jody, look at that. Oh no, that's Jody's taunt thing. No, but I mean, he shifted polarities so that he's positive and only she is negative. Oh! Oh shit, yeah, you can tell that he's positive. Fuck me, how did I not figure that out? I completely missed that his... Derps, my derps. My favorite is Clinton because he's a cowboy. That's a pretty strong, pretty also, strong point. Also, a very good point. <laughs> also, welcome. Also, also. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. Water? No, I am telling you right now, we are moving on from that. <laughs> We're not doing that anymore. We're stopping right the fuck right now. now. I'm... I will turn this stream right around and none of us will go to the finale of this video game. <laughs> this is like a magic school bus ride and it's 
Miss Frizzle who's begging for a normal field trip. <laughs> we're not doing any more of the stream. No, Delta, we're not doing any more ever, please. It's one of those times where you've got to respect the boundaries of your streamers. Because, oh. Because, please, dear. Okay, Allison and Jody are in some mode of trouble. No, for serious. Please, let's move on. Yes, let's please just end let's, it there. This is this is my serious face. This is my serious voice. We are not doing this anymore. It's all right. As long as we're on the same page now. Thank you. We're gonna get Killer A's sneakers as merch items. I don't know. Maybe as an item drop. Okay, so Melody and Jody are gonna be on the hook for this one. Video games are the worst. <laughs> How dare you! A makeshift, a makeshift for melody. melody. Oh my god, yeah, I... Yes. Like, we can't have a Melody plush without an Allison plush, though. Absolutely. Just can't. Somebody it's... get Fangamer on the horn. Mm -hmm. I really hope that at some point we do get... You know... Notorious, question mark? Notable enough to justify us doing a makeshift of us. Ah, oh, I would do that just so I can get one of me. It's fair, yeah. Like, once we would be able to hit the break-even point, I think is about where I'd want to put it. Yeah. <clears throat> Yay! Ah, oh, Jeff's poncho is pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Five foot long Zinnia plushie, oh my god. Oh. How much for the Zinnia couch? This cannot be the strongest and most handsome of Lord Javis's progeny, defeated by a bunch of circus animals. You may have defeated me, but Father and the Queen will be another story. Enjoy breathing while you still can. Oh. Ooh. I love a life-size plush sheave in his sauna, like the sauna itself should be able to squeeze through the front door. Ah, oh. I would love just a giant, yeah. giant sleep plushie. Oh I do God. have a lot of snow leopard plushies, it's, it's fair. Very but good. There's um, a really cool artist out there by the name of Scragster who does a lot of really cute stuff, has a really good shop, not a sponsor, check him out. Oh, uh, excuse me. Hey, excuse me, Centaur. We want to come hang out with you. Looks like it's locked from the other side. Um, no, it isn't. <clears throat> wow, this place is really something. I had no idea there was a settlement like this in the valley. They um do a bunch of cool stuff. I got a. Uh, a Dino Nuggy plushie from them, but they yes! also that <laughs> I love quite a bit. They also occasionally do um, custom plushies, which are incredibly expensive but incredibly yeah. good. Oh my god, they gosh, look yes. so great! <laughs> if I ever have like a spare 
eight hundred or whatever for the biggest, mm -hmm. the biggest one. I would mm -hmm. so do it. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Well, this conversation's off to a great start. Ignore my friend. Hi, we're the Novas. We're invest. Oh yeah, we did name ourselves. Yeah. We? We're investigating the recent disturbances. What exactly is this place? My name is Noel, and this is my sanctuary. This place was supposed to be a secret haven for the creatures of the forest that can't defend themselves against supernatural entities out there. Of course, before long, adventurers came knocking on my door looking for a place to rest and trade wares. I suppose I don't know how to say no. There aren't usually this many people here at once, though. Everyone just needs a place to hunker down with the increased monster activity. Strange things have been happening here in the valley. Even stranger than usual. Which is exactly the problem we're trying to solve. Well, now that you're here, you're free to stay. If you're able to lend a hand, I've got a bit of a problem I need help with. I will, of course, reward you for your efforts. Come talk to me when you got a minute. Okay. After you've we're done with some fucking Angus McDonald over here. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, fellow travelers. I'm Yasmin. Pleased to meet you. I'm a researcher for the archaeology department of Brightport University. This valley is a gold mine for someone in my field. Noel says that anything of value in the sanctuary was plundered long before they made this place their home, but that's not true. I mean, look at the stonework here. It's so intricate. The style seems to date back, uh, date these ruins back to around the start of the Arcane era. How much stories these bricks could tell. Judging from the look of this place, is <clears throat> judging from the state of this place, it's probably not a very happy story. Very astute. In fact, I have reason to believe that some sort of catastrophe struck the place centuries ago. How oh, intriguing! I never could have made you think yeah. that. Well, it was nice to meet you, Yasmin. We'll quit interrupting your research now. Okie doke. Let me know if you're in need of my expertise. Didn't notice her ears until we started talking. That's great. Please don't step into my little archaeological site here. Thanks. Look okay, at that's Tony, a Tony you. Chopper over there. Ah. Tony Baloney. Yeah. Oh, it's steak, lady. Ah, it's meaty. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, this is our town. <laughs> Need some provisions? Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take Could that. Kleenex for the, the double bloody nose I just got. Yeah. Stock up on picnic sets. Ooh, maybe a few more tiers of revival. Can I help you for with anything? Yeah, could you cry into this bag for a little while for us? <laughs> Raphael, can you tell us more about these treasure maps? You're only asking this now, after your purchase. To tell the <laughs> truth, I am not entirely sure what treasures these maps lead to. It could be gold, perhaps an item of particular value. I sourced them for a friend I would trust with my life, though, so rest assured, they are quite genuine. Ah, it is my little paladin friend from the other day. We're certainly a long way from Greenridge. I take it your adventuring duties are going well. Well, things have been eventful, that's for sure. You have no idea. You're right, I'm not a mind reader. I'm surprised to bump into you again, though. I thought you'd be off the Sapphire Highlands by now. That was the plan, yes. But as you no doubt know, adventurers often need to change plans on the fly. I intended to drop off a small shipment here and leave, but with the islands currently cut off from the mainland, I've been forced to stay longer. In the meantime, I've set up shop here. If I'm going to be stuck here, I might as well make a few sales. How's business? The news reporter over yonder makes his little assistant run over and ask for a diet potion about every two hours. I do not sell diet potions if such thing even exists. They aren't soda. The imp knows this, of course, but is forced to come and ask about it anyway. Then has to trot back to his boss after asking a regular potion is okay, and return to me to buy a single potion. We have done this 15 times now. I'm not even sure how Mr. Man drinks them, given his... condition. I'm not one to turn down a sale. Speaking of sales, need some provisions? Mine has been melting since Zinnia, basically. Yeah. Look at you, that looks heavy. What can I do for you? Oh, you want to chat? What about? Hi! 
My name's Mint, purveyor of only the finest fairy forged armor. Yes, I can guarantee that all my gear is in mint condition. Wink. Hey, I was gonna make that joke. Everyone always does, so at some point I just started making it for him. Oh wait, Jody, hey, good to see you! You two know each other? There are only so many blacksmiths on the Sapphire Islands. It's a pretty tight-knit community. But hey, glad to see you've got your own little shop set up here. That's awesome. Can't say I'm familiar with fairy forged armor. What makes it special compared to regular steel? Well, it's forged by a fairy. That's pretty much it. No special effects? Hey, cut me some slack. You know how small I am, I'm itty bitty. It's impressive I can even swing a hammer at this size. Mint's being humble, but trust me, her stuff's worth every penny. Not to mention the fact that I'm allergic to iron, what with being <laughs> a fairy and all. I guess the rumors are true though, huh, Jody? You really are an adventurer now. You gonna give up smithing for good? That'd be a shame with your talent. Huh? I'm becoming more southern by the man. <laughs> huh? Oh, I don't know. I'm focusing on the guild right now, but maybe when things settle down, I'll make some gear for the gang. Actually, that gives me an idea. Nice. Oh, uh, I mean, don't do that. You should buy your gear for me instead. You could stand to work on your salesmanship, Mint. Well, what can I say? I'm an artist, not a capitalist. What can I do you for? Ooh. So, what brought you to Noel Sanctuary, Mint? Fairies are naturally drawn to places with lots of magic, and this place is just off the charts. Can't really explain it. It's an instinctual thing for us. We can choose to ignore it, but it just feels right. Come to think of it, I'm not I'm sure I'm aware of any fairy towns in the archipelago. Oh, there's little fairy settlements all over. We just tend to keep to ourselves. I mean, it's nothing personal, but fairy buildings just aren't designed for people your size. So we don't get many outsider visitors. I like to get out and meet new people, though, so it's nice to settle down in a place like this. Lots of interesting folks passing through here. Also, Noel doesn't charge rent for my stall here. So that's a plus. Why does it feel like Green Ridge is the only place on the Sapphire Islands where you have to pay rent? You gotta do something about this. <laughs> hey, awful world kid. Yeah, super lesbians. Mint, you gave me a great idea. Oh, really? What would that be? I want your help forging a weapon for myself. Interesting. I'd be down for a collab. What kind of weapons you have in mind? I was thinking... a shield. A shield is not a weapon, Jody. I mean, you ever been bashed by a shield before? As a general rule, I try not to. But fair point. Well, I could make a regular steel shield, but it sounds like you want something more premium. How about this? You bring me some rare ore, some rare ore, <laughs> some rare ore, the rare and I'll help you make a shield out of it. Some rare ore, rare ore, rare Some rare ore, yeah. rare We'll keep an eye out for suitable materials. Luffy is the Monkey King. How does that mm -hmm. sound go? <laughs> oh. Ah. Got some silver plate stuff. Oh, Ooh. mithril. Oh. Oh, that's expensive, though. Oh, oh my god. I mean, let's just turn Jody into a god dang tank, I suppose. Yeah. Jody's been wearing a miner's helmet this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I I think that the it was better than the silver plate helmet. It sure was. Goddamn. That's fair. Ones are pretty good. I think. I think we've got the. Yeah, we've got lunar ones for for folks. So I think we're good. I have a funny feeling that we are going to upgrade the Zircon Blade at some point soon. Yeah. yeah. 
We need to go on our Masamune quest. Mm -hmm. to most of the... yeah. How oh, interesting, the Machinist's spellbook isn't sell sellable. Hmm. Oh, anyway. Oh, actually, that's a thought. Do we have anything in our items that's just sell? Wizard Moonshine! <laughs> there we go. Ah, quite a bit. Oh, the machinist spell because of quest reward, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Now we gotta speak to this lady. <sighs> what do you need, travelers? About? Welcome to my shop, travelers. I am Libra. If you have the coin, I should would be willing to part with some of my valuables. Wow, some of these seem pretty rare. Where'd you get these? I can assure you, all of the spell books here were required Legitimately. Why did you say it like that? Like what, pray tell? Like in a way that makes it sound like you definitely didn't acquire these stuff legitimately. What are you, a cop? Does the source of my wares really matter when you're trying to save the world? How did you know the world is at stake? Lucky guess. You hero types are all the same. Always off trying to stop one global threat or another. It's a tough world out there. I'm just trying to get by with my totally 100% legally obtained goods. And these books won't curse us or anything? Do you want them to curse you? That costs extra. Ah, we're good. <laughs> Sorry if this seems totally random, but uh, Waffles XD. <laughs> would, would you happen to know an old wizard by the name of Bartholomew Leon? I haven't heard that name in a while. But yes, I've met the old Codger. What He's makes you me. think I would Wait. know him? Is it because I seem like the villainous type? Yes! Alice. Fair enough. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Andy oh. Herson! Sorry. Oh. Andy Dershon. An Andy Dershon, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't read words. Thank you for the rain. reading words for a long time. Nice hey, to see everybody. you. Hey, everybody. What were you up to? I was playing CrossCode. Oh, Ooh. hell yeah. Nice. How are you getting on with that? All right. Well, I've always just been curious about him. Well, welcome, Raiders. We are a girl stream team. Uh, we're a couple of trans girls that do uh, variety streams. I'm Jax. Hello. And I'm not. And that's my lovely girlfriend, Sleep. He tells you'd... so many stories about his time as a villain, but how much of that is true? Yeah, if you happen to enjoy your time here, please feel free to hit that follow button. We're always appreciated. We're getting remarkably close to 500, so... Yeah, yeah we sure are. Oh, lots of them, I'm sure. He was quite fearsome in his youth, always trying to conquer reverie. He never succeeded on that front, of course, but it's the bravado that matters. He still comes up in villain circles from time to time as an influential figure. Uh, not that I would be privy to such conversations. But he gave it all up to raise his daughter. A waste of talents, if you ask me. I suppose it was impressive that he created a little Catherine in a cauldron with dark magics, though. Excuse me? What? You didn't know? Old Bartholomew never married, so he created a successor on his own. Of course. Little Catherine turned out painfully normal. Now his granddaughter, Pepper, on the other hand, she's going places. She's got a dark future ahead of her. Not that I would condone committing any crimes or acts of villainy as a law-abiding merchant. Nice. Fair enough. Oh, I think, uh, Natural 20, what you want is exclamation point links, which gets the link tree. What have we got? Money bags. Gold gun, oh. shiny destruction, distraction, and emergency help. <laughs> oh. Interesting. I'm gonna buy that and not fucking use it. Just to yeah. Have it. Not that kind of links. Oh. Sadly. Oh, hey. Ah. 
Hey, it's look who it is! What are our favorite <laughs> bards doing out here? We are gonna hang out in the tavern, but they serve alcohol in there, and we vowed to never break edge. <laughs> You know they would just hand you a drink unprompted without seeing your IDs, right? Regardless. I meant more like, what are you doing in the valley? Testing our metal as bards, of course. But, uh, you see how it is out there right now. Pure chaos. Lucky you made it here. Those frog balls are bloodthirsty. So we decided our metal has been sufficiently tested, and now we're just chilling here in the sanctuary. We haven't forgotten our other vow. The one to repay you for saving us from that block of ice. Still brainstorming that one. We'll get back to you. What about, I don't know, using your barley skills to write a commercial jingle for our guild? No one watches TV anymore, Grandma. Well, it was nice catching up with you. All of the characters in this game are amazing. <laughs> Look at the little Benoit. It's like a little Allison. Can we keep it? One of me is already enough of a handful. Creature. Creature. Okay. Excuse the fuck out of me. Oh, hi. Treasure oh. chests. Hi, Noel. So what's this problem we need our help with? Yes, well, normally I would be loath to turn to complete strangers for help with the task for this, but the circumstances are dire. You see, this is an animal sanctuary, and well, do you notice something missing? <laughs> Restrooms. Toilet. <laughs> Toilet? No? What? No. There are restrooms in the tavern. I meant the animals. Oh, the animal uh, friends have all gone missing. Hey, not for any reason in particular, but sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> I might have did a sin in town somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Would have been funnier if they had said toilet. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> My little animal friends have all gone missing. The ruckus with the monster made them panic, and they ran off. You're the animal haver. They can't have gone far, right? Shouldn't take us too long to search the valley for them. That's the problem, though. They could be anywhere on the Sapphire Islands by now. Probably hiding in obscure, hard-to-reach places where they think we'll be safe. Maybe even in chests. Plus, there are eight of them in total. I mean, sorry. Plus, there are eight of them in total. And that's a lot of animals for one elemental to track down. How did you talk in yellow? Practice. While you're adventuring, do you think you could look for animal companions? Oh, Noel's program no pronouns are they them. Good to know. Okay. It will help find your animals, Noel. Thanks for your help. In exchange for your efforts, I've prepared some rewards in these chests here. I'll give you one unique piece I'll give you one unique piece of gear for every two animals you find. There you go again. Crystal ball to the left can help narrow your search. Any further questions? I'll be here. Hey, well. Real quick. Toilet. Okay, no, that's... I guess Until that's the just there. This one's supposed to be here. Toilet. One critter lies here in the valley. Two critters on the outskirts of Green Ridge. One in the Amber Woods. One in the Celestial Wasteland. One in a dark and ominous place in the Wasteland. Neat. Okay, well... Cool. I think we do have two, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we met your cousin, by the way. Wait, you did? Yeah, we had business in Mumford, so we stayed in the inn. She was real hospitable. Seems like she's doing well for herself up there. Oh god, please tell me she didn't share any embarrassing stories about me. Nah, she just said you'd be nice once we got to know you. Did we go back and ask her about these embarrassing stories? No, no, forget I said anything. I should probably visit her sometime soon when I'm less busy, though, so thanks for reminding me. Check the rewards for the critters, okay. That chest has something Melody might want. It's a spiked bracelet. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, uh... Wow, you look like you've seen a ghost. 
besides the kind we have here in the valley. What exactly makes you think this is my style? You strike me as someone with a lot of pent-up rage. It's not bad to let a little of that out, you know. Well, I guess you might not be entirely wrong there. Arm will encourage that by boosting your attack, as well as healing you a little bit every time you inflict damage in battle. Got two rescued critters you haven't claimed any rewards for. You want the spike bracelet for two of those rescued critters? Very good. Look at this. That chest contains a jacket. Allison, you strike me as someone who could use more jackets that still have the sleeves attached. You are not wrong. On top of that, though, this jacket will double your likelihood of getting critical hits. Ah. Now we're talking! Got two rescue critters you haven't claimed any rewards for. Do you want the critical jack? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna check the other ones, though. That chest contains a hat that I think Claire will <laughs> like. I appreciate it, but I kind of already have a hat. She never takes it off. I thought that might be the case. This one is special. This is an extra small witch's hat that you could wear beneath <laughs> your normal hat. <laughs> Go on. Congratulations to everyone in chat who fucking called that. <laughs> I'm sold. Well, you'll need to find more of my critters before you can claim it. We'll be here when you're ready. Amazing. That technology is finally improved past TF2. <laughs> that chest contains a visor for a knight's helmet. Just the visor? Just the visor. However, I think it may be of particular use to you, Jody. Strike me as someone who's always putting yourself at risk to protect others. The visor, if equipped, will let you see your use your star power to heal yourself in battle. Seems useful in a pinch. Well, we'll need to find more of my critters before you can claim it. Be here when you're ready. Why are you trying to snoop around in my tent? Oh, sorry, we thought it might have just been painted on the ground and we needed to make sure. Why do you need a tent? Why not stay at the inn? I came here to be more one with nature. Plus, my animal companions need anything, it's easier for them to get to me this way. Music here also very transcendent. Okay, let's get this critical jacket on Allison real quick. I like that the ultimate equipment question mark is outlined in blue. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this the is this the the fucking um our energies are cosmically aligned. This is not a coincidence. <laughs> oh my god. Kinda is. Hello. I am Fauna. Hi. Always nice to meet a fellow spellcaster. Please, I am no mere spellcaster. I am, that is, a magician. I am able to peer deep into one's very soul. If one gazes long enough, my amazing mirror is able to reflect one's true self. <laughs> Am I going to be careful around that mirror? Wow, I bet you've been on some interesting adventures with a skill set like that, Fauna. I mostly do children's birthday parties. <laughs> However, if you have any use for my skills that does not involve entertaining children aged 6 to 11, the work would be appreciated. Actually, that might come in handy. Let's talk for a while we have a moment. Are you in need of my skills? Fauna, I'm curious. How exactly did you get here? Same as anyone else. A series of ill-advised life choices that I cannot undo, but I'm trying to make the best of regardless. Oh, sorry, I mean, how'd you get to the sanctuary? Did I miss you talking to the Cobra woman? Yeah, sadly, we, we spoke to her. Just kind yeah. of a baddie. Pretty good. A, a very good baddie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you around town. I arrived via the astral plane as I am wont to do. There is a convenient door to the south. Hey, if you've been to the Sapphire Islands corner of the astral plane, 
You encountered a certain sleeping rabbit in there? Ah, oh, yes, the dream knight. I have heard the legend, same as any traveler of the astral plane. Why? I can't help but wonder what that guy's deal is, but he never responds when you try to talk to him. If you've got magic that can interface directly with the soul, maybe we could speak to him and see if he's okay. Most interesting. I had not considered this. But it seems you have found a challenge worthy of my skills. Very well, then. Meet me in the astral plane if you want an ass-kicking. <laughs> or when you wish to meet the dream knight. Can you talk to the otter from the shore? I cannot. Oh. I'm very sad about this state of affairs. I would like that chest, though. Yeah, what the fuck? So I thought that the fucking... I thought that they said that the... Oh, it must be over here. Come to uh... me through fire and war. I welcome you. Corky, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh. oh. Cool. Oh, my. Okay, yeah. It <laughs> took me a moment to parse this thing, but yeah. wow. He's kind of a strong man. Playing the best RPG of 2022. Absolutely. This is amazing. I love this game. All my fingers have hats! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you said they'd hatched for just a moment there. <laughs> oh, God. They hatched in the butter fingers. <laughs> this is your second playthrough. I'm honestly considering doing an off-stream playthrough just because, like, it, it feels good to be in this game. <laughs> Oh, it's going to help us defeat it. Whoop! <laughs> well. <laughs> it's fallen and it can't get up. All my fingers have hatched. That's horrifying. Don't elaborate. Haste is good. Mm -hmm. I think haste always the best spell in video games. I don't know, it's just like you do two things now. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, hey, so it seems like you've worked some shit out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. We're cool, actually. Normally I would have attacked you guys for funsies, but you scared off that other monster that was giving me a hard time. So, hey, here, have this. Peace. I'm here for these chill mimics. Me too. I'm also here for that thing that just exploded that bush. Ooh, I think I had an idea for some point at like a, a modern day duo of, I guess, was it like a slime girl maybe? But she had a 3DS that was a mimic. Oh my god. <laughs> Cool idea. Mm -hmm. I don't think you ever told me about that. those fucking rules. <laughs> okay, what have we got up here? Halt! You violated the law. Oh, a fellow healer! Perfect! We're not really looking for a fight, so... No! I have renounced my rights as a healer. The queen is up ahead, and only those who are truly worthy may have an audience. You must be screened thoroughly. 
that duty has fallen upon me. Arena's most faithful follower, our strongest soldier. Okay, no offense, but are you sure about that? It's not Paula? The boys are... You are still so naive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a rocket launcher, huh? And that is why you are not ready! For this jelly! That's an anti-tank rifle. Oh! <clears throat> Alright. You've got one of the kite. Only your strongest star power attack should probably get to my armor. And no spell books either. I might be with everything you've got. Except for the spell books. Apparently. Well. I'm interested what happens if you use that, but I'm sure it's going to shoot a rocket at you. <laughs> Okay, just a round of mostly kissing, first off. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, okay. Well, that's exciting. Um... I don't know whether we actually believe this jellies whole thing. I guess we'll find out. Guess so. What a fucking good boss fight. Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay, well. So, <clears throat> we weren't punished for using the spell books. We were, but... I thought mm. for sure there was going to be like a counterattack. <laughs> Bimbo! <laughs> Can't say that on Twitch. <laughs> At least yoink, we're going to find out. Okay, so it really is anything that uses star power that she hates. Just real bad. Suits me. Oh yeah, Righteous Blow counts as star power. I guess that tracks, honestly, because, like, it does more damage when you got more star power, so... The eyebrows are really good. <laughs> That's the thing about them. They're just kind of floating wherever they need to be. <laughs> You shrank Fauna's eyes? Wow. You shrink Fauna's eyes, you monster? <laughs> Whoa! Damn. I feel like it's the first time we've done over a thousand damage. Yeah. Ah, I missed Chronomancy. Mm-hmm. A little bit not doing much for us in this fight, but uh, you know what? I'm okay with it. But yeah, still the regen is good on its own. Mm -hmm. It's gonna multi frost it, I think. Probomancy has been really good. Yeah. We tried Geomancy <laughs> on Melody for a bit, and it just didn't really uh, spark joy. You know, as fun as...
being able to control the flow of time is, I think I'd like to try this book about throwing rocks. Yeah! I <laughs> see. I was wrong about you. You are truly strong. Perhaps you are the ones Verena has been waiting for. You may proceed. So does that mean this is the way to the final boss? Kind of seems a little oh, bit yeah. that There it is. Tallest mountain on the island. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Mount Zaffo. This definitely is the place. Verena's waiting for us at the top. Ready, Mel? Ready. To turn back for a few more hours. Looks like oh, they're dear. ready for us too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, anyway. <laughs> See you later. <clears throat> Not going to even open the door. Okay, sure, I'll go open the door. <laughs> this is a pretty, pretty great gay game. Like... Fucking Mount Sappho? Are you kidding me? <laughs> kind of thought it was going to be a bit rounder and more dome shaped. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for coming along, Andy, and thanks again for the raid. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, thank Take you. care. Absolutely Sleep good. Okay, where do we wind up? Okay, down here, over the bridge. Oh, but we needed to meet um, Big Eyes Deer in. The astral plane. Big eyes deer Grass kicking. Yeah. Sure, why not? And so we meet again. I have done a cursory inspection of the Dream Knight's soul. My abilities will be sufficient to communicate with him. I will warn you, however, that it will take a great deal of magic to interface with his soul. This may attract unwanted guests. Are you prepared for that? Not quite yet. Very well then, I will be here biding my Tim until you are ready. That is why the Sapphire Islands are called the Sapphire Islands. I guess so. Ah, huh? fair. There. Now we're ready. We had a nice astral <laughs> picnic. <laughs> and so we meet again, again. I, Boo Bagalahu, Jishwara Baraharawara. Oh, anime time. Excellent. Let us begin. Okay, Fjord. Yeah, I kind of suspected because I was like, Sapphire, Sapphic, that's probably a thing. But maybe not. Maybe. And then Mount Sappho. It's just, oh, okay, yeah, okay. That makes <laughs> sense, honestly. Oh, you've gone to Mount Tittybrass, huh? <laughs> it's quite beautiful. I sense a Farigan presence. Prepare for combat while I continue the spell. Yes, we've been expecting you. Reed, hello, hello, welcome, Reed, welcome. Reed, Rill. Nice to see Hi, you, everybody, folks. everybody, welcome. What were y'all up to? What were you up all to? That's a good Very question. Real. I did. The Actra theme. Oh, hell yeah. That's like Final Fantasy, but um, a rhythm action game or something, right? Oh, cool. Yeah. I've not heard of it. Moo, moo, moo. Rhythm game. Moo, moo, moo. Yeah. Here they come. Oh. Also. oh my. Terrifying. Awful. Wait, are star powers regenerating? Of course, yes, this yes, this place full magic. Cause scholar. Oh Oh wow! Regenerating Ooh. doesn't quite do it justice. Holy shit. Yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah. These guys are terrifying looking. 
They're cool though. Oh. I've definitely seen these creatures in my periphery. <laughs> <laughs> God, and once again, the music just... Mm. Yeah. Harmony was before she met Melody. I guess kinda. Scary. Like Harmony's. I mean that it, Harmony's kind of weird because it's like it's Mana kind of giving a voice to something that was already in her head, assuming yeah. that the Harmony's telling the truth. You know. <clears throat> Ugh, deja vu. Wait, have you seen creatures like that somewhere before, Melody? What? Oh, haha. -ha. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> Those guys were pretty fucked up looking. <laughs> Thank you for the assistance. Your doorway into the night soul is ready. Cool, so how do we... In oh. you go, lesbian. Okay. Oh, we just psychonauts into him. The Dream Knight. This is what I am called, yes. It's been a very long time since I was able to speak with another person. It's nice to meet you. Wow, it's incredible to be able to speak with you. I have so many questions. That tracks a major tussle. I am adding that to my work playlist for tomorrow. What are you doing here in the astral plane? Are you okay? Worry not, young one. I rest here by choice. The astral plane is a strange place made of pure magic. It naturally tends to warp and bend like the currents in the seas. In the old days, many travelers would lose their way here and never be seen again. So, centuries ago, I volunteered to become an anchor of sorts. The weight of my soul hold holds down the pathway spellcasters have molded from the mana in this region of the astral plane. Allowing for safe travel. Wow, that's so selfless of you, leaving your life behind like that for this duty. Please, it is a knight's job to protect the weak, is it not? However, today it was you who protected me from those astral beings that wished to harm me. I owe you a great debt for saving me. I think we kind of also endangered him by... well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't sweat it, man. It's all in a day's work for us. Thank you for saving me from the danger you put me in. Yeah, no doubt. Nonetheless, I wish to give you this. Astral Bell. <gasps> Is this just jump into Astral whenever? This trinket ah. will allow you to warp back to the Astral Plane from almost any location. Fast fucking travel! It should aid in your journeys considerably. Holy crap, no kidding! We'll be sure to make good use of this dream night. With this... I will return to my peaceful dreams. Thank Hawk you for the shoe. chat. Safe travels, young ones. Hawkshoe. Were you able to speak with the knight as you desired? It was amazing, Fauna. He told us everything. We must be the first people to learn about the Dream Knight story in centuries. I am glad I was able to use my abilities for something more substantial than entertaining sweaty toddlers. I believe my work here is done. Oh, hey, do you want us to, like, pay you for your time or anything? I sure do. <laughs> A true magician is not concerned with profit, only the showmanship. But a tip would be appreciated. Yeah. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Yay! Benoit. Red. Uh, well, sleep good, Reed. Always Thank nice to see you. Me. Always appreciate when you drop us a raid. You take Have care, sleep good. Have a good night. Take it easy, big guy. Take it big, easy guy. <laughs> okay. Back to the 
the uncanny valley with us. That is... I... There we go. <laughs> Just push him out of the way. <laughs> All right! That was right. Excuse me? I'd really like to be able to open that bridge a lot easier. Hopefully that's one of the things we're able to do in the village. Yeah. Need something else? So what have you learned about the sanctuary in your research, Yasmin? Oh, loads, but you probably don't want to hear about the masonry. I'm more curious about why this place is the way it is, personally. Well, like I said, there seems to be some kind of catastrophe here centuries ago. Perhaps a large blast of magical energy? Such a display of magical power doesn't quite line up with what spellcasters were capable of in the early arcane era, though. Which raises more questions. I also suspect that whatever happened is responsible for the miscolored plant life and radiated water in the valley, but that's the really conjecture. <laughs> The what? <laughs> oh, what about the sanctuary? No, what about the irradiated water? Excuse are we <laughs> are good? Why do things seem better here? That's unclear to me. It's especially <laughs> odd considering we're at the very center of the valley. You think the mana poisoning would be dense? Cataracts density? Cataracts from the radiation poisoning, though. <laughs> Perhaps some sort of ward or charm was placed over this place by whoever lived here while it was still intact. Every new discovery raises more questions. It's so exciting. Hey, what about all the people using the ruins as vendor stalls? Doesn't that bug you? Oh, extremely. There's not much I can do about it without filing the paperwork to have this place recognized as a historical site. Maybe I can get Noel's help with that, and then come back here with a whole field team to study the ruins properly. Once the ongoing emergency is over and you can phone home, you mean? Huh? There's an emergency? I was so caught up in my studies I didn't even notice. This is not a place of honor. Oh, no. No. Well, I don't know. This seems to be some highly esteemed deeds here. Yeah. You're from Brightport? Yes, indeed. Born and raised there. Hey, so are Claire and Jody. You met before? I mean, Brightport is one of the biggest cities in the Beast Kingdom. The odds are astronomically low. Need something <laughs> else? Fair enough. Well, I'll let you get back to it. It's a shame we don't know anybody who's yeah. thousands of years old who probably knows everything that you're curious about. No. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we haven't talked to these chuckle fucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were just supposed to do a puff piece on the tavern here, but now we're stick in the middle of the woods doing some kind of crisis. And to make matters worse, now Mr. Man thinks his monster getting stuff is the story of the century is gonna win him some award. Even if it was, there's no reception. We can't go live. I better get over time for this. He's holding up cups of yeah. coffee. Get out of my pits, you little freak. Sorry. <laughs> I love that some characters acknowledge that. <laughs> this is All the right, I'm gonna have to talk to fucking Mac tonight here yeah. now. The ruins of the God of Magic School. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh my Jesus God. Jesus God in heaven. You Please, do your... no request for autograph, folks. Perfect. Oh, uh, sorry, but I don't think we actually know who you are. You wound me, kid. The name's Hugh Man, interpret human reporter for Kingdom News. Hmm. I'm here investigating the strange events that have this little island in a tizzy. A sudden increase in monster attacks. Electromagnetic disturbances. What a scoop. I'm calling it Monster Geddon. You wouldn't happen to have any idea what the hell's going on, would you? <laughs> well, there's this wizard with a videotape for a head, and he. <laughs> nice try, kid. What is that? One of your little memes or something? I ain't falling for that again. Well, guess it really is up to me to crack this case. I thought you were a journalist, not a detective. I like to blur that line. Well, if you do get any leads, be sure to fill me in. I can get you on TV, you know. 
Before you ask, we do pay interview subjects. Why we pay in the most valuable currency of all, exposure. Okay, well. Great. Hey, if you're just a camera guy, how come you're wearing an adventurer's armor? What, you want me to get out of here in the forest wearing a t-shirt and get my nipples bitten off by a ghost? That's what you're worried about? Yes. <laughs> you know, fair enough. I want to oh. know, you saw... Oh, the... Uh, the oh, there's oh. a lot of very good people in oh. here. I was okay. immediately drawn okay. to this... We can't take her anywhere. She has one hard lemonade and gets like this. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm the life of the party. <laughs> yeah. I do love the possum bartender also. Ah. Oh. Hey, are you open to taking unsolicited advice from a stranger? Oh, I suppose so. When's the last time you swapped out those spell books you got there? Easy to get them to rut you in the same thing. Never know if those other options might come in handy if you don't try them out. I know it's a bestseller for a reason. There's more options for healing than just magical girl. What would you suggest then? Hey, I'm not out to tell you how to live your life. Sounds like you are. Only a little. Haha, -ha, I'm gonna be right back, haha. -ha. Okay. What a legend that a Bella. Oh man, wish we had the time to spare for some kind of darts mini game. <laughs> oh, spatula Goblin is my cosplay goal. It's a very big spatula, also. Buster spatula. Not sure we're going to find any hidden treasure in a public restroom. This is definitely my voice. Oh god, they're all very good. Uh, I need it more liquid. Understand. Last voice for it to be a shreds. Oh lots look of... at her. Mm-hmm. Lots of interesting people around here lately. That woman who stands in the center of the sanctuary and keeps shouting and posing dramatically is especially interesting. Usually not so quite so loud around here if you're wondering. <laughs> Nobody here yet. If you need a room, though, it's 100G. Hi, would you happen to know if anything interesting is going around about here, Babahi Bada? What, do you think you can just waltz in as total strangers and expect me to dish out all the hot girls? Is that what you think tavern keepers do? Yeah. Well, good, because I'm just pulling your legs. I do love some good gossip. Seen that weird magician who hangs around the lake? Fauna, I think it was. What a character. I'm sure she would have some interesting leads for you. I want something less crazy. Try talking to Mint the blacksmith. She had a good egg, that one. She made swords and shields on the walls here. The one that hot wolf guy over by Avenger stalls is trying to sell some treasure maps. I don't trust <laughs> mysterious merchants who roll in the town and try start trying to pawn off treasure maps, but hey, maybe you do. Understandable. Melted, Melted into, into a mess. <laughs> Uh, hey, no customers in the kitchen. You're only allowed to get your adventure dirt over food after it's been served. Ooh. Let's rest for 100G. This game is just so, so wonderful. It's so adorable. Where are treasure maps? Ooh, I know where that is. I don't know where that is. I mean, I, I know vaguely where that one I said that I know where it is is. Yeah. It's like... Oh no, it's not just down there. It's There's a lake with, like, um... Funny little bridge. That's not my mm. dock kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. This was... Yeah, that was one of the fun dungeons.
Oh, this game is so fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, that's about right. Hey, this is the spot marked on the map. Oh. Ah. Ah. Nice. Straight up. Yeah, not bad. Decent thing to profit. I don't think there are too many more new characters to find. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Um, that bit in the right with the pink around is the sanctuary. Yeah. I think that bit to the north there. That was the fungin. Yeah, it was. I'm not sure what's to the west though. Let's figure that out. Oh, no, I guess we... Okay. Then... Let's, uh... I think let's get our butts back to Green Ridge. Because I know there's a funny door on the beach near Melody's house. Oh, yeah. I know this isn't exactly the closest teleporter to it, but one more major character. Oh, hey. Uh, well. A brawl is surely brewing. What do we got? That's Weather Boy. Oh, hello! Lovely day for a stroll on the beach, isn't it? Not when the beach is in a state like this. I find this version to be quite aesthetically pleasing, actually. You know, if you're just here to sightsee, you could just go do that. And not fight us. And leave behind any treasure you might have. Ah, but I have to fight you. It's the very reason for my existence. I'm sure you understand. But please do not mistake my tone for lack of investment. I will take a great pleasure in your humiliating defeat. Bring it on, Airhead. That was uncalled for. Okay, so he's got, what, fire and ice by the looks of it. I guess that's right. Weather was there. Air to your thinking of is not one to melt over. Fair. Oh, this one was called Bigby. That's funny because I don't have any hands. <laughs> Slow him down. That's my beam. Weather Warlock who makes Heat Miser and Snow Miser both upset by stealing the job. <laughs> Folks call me unemployed miser. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, uh. Oh. Fire damage up, ice damage, and healing down. Uh oh. Don't like that. Yeah, I can see why you might have had to reset a few times. <laughs> ah, critical heal. Mm -hmm. Double burn? I don't like that. I 
I do like that, um, it kind of seems like attacks resolve in oh. the order that would be useful, like, uh, Jody's defense down, uh, attack seems to resolve ahead of, um, other things. Equally, Melody's yeah. time magic, uh, resolves ahead of other things. Jesus. Does Jody have a regular burn and a double burn? Oh jeez, maybe? Electric damage and healing up, fire damage down. Uh... Good, let's stick with this. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> Summoned the sun! Oh no! <laughs> uh... <laughs> well... That's probably not good. Jeez. Well, at least that wow. bubble attack cured Jody's flame status condition. Yeah. Chrono Trigger or Secret Boss, Son of Sun. Yeah. You know, there's an extra secret version of that boss not a lot of people know about that's hidden on a boat in the overworld. <laughs> oh, really? What's it called? It's called Son of Sun of Sailor. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. That was a mistake. They probably don't use an awful lot of. Uh... Physical attacks, huh? And it's poisoned! Oh no! <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, hydrate. What oh, if oh. I do? <clears throat> okay. Get the healing over time back up. already tell my vocal cords are going to be beef jerky tomorrow. Yeah, mine are really feeling it. Like, the <laughs> long conversation involving Jody made me really regret kind of going a little bit gravelly for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spleef jerky. Ah, oh, that's, oh. that's what they call me. The apophis to Big Bees Raw. <laughs> <laughs> wow, amazing reference. <laughs> Ooh. Minecraft mod that adds a minotaur to a special dimension and meat it drops is meat. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love meat. I love meat self. <laughs> Very important. Positive attitude going on. Make meat strong enough to progress, progress, proceed through the story. Oh. Is that the dark forest or something? I would blast the parts of the like forest. Off. Yeah, that sounds so good. Was it Stroganoff that... Stop that! Was it Stroganoff that Ian Brutal Moose couldn't say? Or was that something else? Uh, uh, no, that was, um... Beef Bourguignon. That was it, yeah. Bourguignon. Bourguignon. <laughs> That's gotta be secret YouTube trick of... Um... Saying words wrong deliberately so that everyone gets very mad and comments yeah, on and your video. Boost engagement. Absolutely it is. Hey, since the memes will link to one of Melody's Minecraft skin. Ah oh, yeah. Alright, have a good night, Melody. Good night, Melody. Uh-oh.
Though we are kind of in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, just a scooch. Oh yeah, can you um, chain him up and give us a turn to... That's a good idea. A turn to breathe. Let's see if that does the do. You. Oof. Well, not anymore. Ooh. Yeah, I can... Okay, let's... Ooh. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, this is going very uh -oh. badly. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do lovely aura and have Jody throw out a revival tier on Melody and just finger crossed. We've got to get the ad rid of the ads. Leaving them alive was an enormous mistake. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. World. Absolutely, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is bad. Oh, Melody. Buys us a little bit of time. Yeah. Ah. What do you mean he uses? You can't out? do that. Sun. I'll unbeef Claire in a moment, I swear. Can't say that about her. <laughs> I know. Big B is free, that's not good. Good chance of chaining him again, so here goes. Good. Good. Less good. Ooh. Man. Gotta take down at least one of these ads, otherwise we're just yeah. gonna keep being in trouble. Yeah. Oh Are come you on! Kidding me. Oh, oh you're, 
here. No. <laughs> oh. Boy, you son of a bitch. Okay. Throwing in the towel, are we? A logical choice. Let's do this again sometime. Fuck. Doing it again immediately. Just tell you know, yeah. better strategy. Things are starting. Lovely day for a picnic, apparently. Okay. All right. So let's see. First off, we're gonna slow him down. And then chomp at him because fighting was pretty good. If we can get him like. Um, corrupted, that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Tumblr does canonically exist in this world, huh? That's true. Oh. It reduces magic strength, because I think that was actually really helping in the early stages of the other fight. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That did not do nearly as much damage. Oh, he's is there a game about? Okay. Is there a game about like a, a Tumblr esque website that actually is multiverse spanning, but it just takes people a while to realize that they're communicating through dimensions? I mean, you're you're not not describing Homestuck. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Also, the unreality blogs on Tumblr, like posts from a darker timeline or posts from a brighter timeline. Okay. If I put time heals all some wounds. Probably a decent idea right now. Then everything turns into Homestuck eventually with enough quantum physics multiverse travel. Oh, oh he's dead. to debuff his magic again. It's kind of a gust of wind on the sun. Hates the wind. Good. I'm afraid of breaking it. <laughs> mm 
<clears throat> okay, this feels like it's going better. Yeah. So when the cloud came out, things kind of went very badly last time, so... The cloud comes out, bind it. That's a good fucking point. Also, I should really use Inferno, considering fire magic is really good right now. Hmm. Oh! That was a good round. Mm-hmm. You see, there's that cloud. Let's bind that. But moreover, let's get time heals back up. And... I keep hammering on this guy. Yeah. Rude! Oh, we're getting close. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, debuff is magic again, but mm. this is real, real close. Yes! Yeah! Nice! Yeah! Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> it would appear I have been defeated! Unexpected! Overrun is really gonna have some fun with you! I look forward to it! As do we! I'm gonna be on my merry way to hell, then. <laughs> what do we get? Lunar vestments. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Fire's still... just got the shield T, so there we go. Yeah, they're not actually dead, they've just decided... Mm, well, we're done. Bye! Okay. Big door. Where's the big door? I need the big door. Ask and ye shall receive. Use the Dragonki. Oh! Yeah. I was in gold? A thousand dollars. Starfruit? Starfruit. A thousand dollars. That's an expert badge. <laughs> well, I was the wearer to equip almost every piece of gear regardless. Oh, of interesting. Oh, we could force Claire to wear different hats. I'll never do it. You know, I wonder, actually. Nope! I cannot! <laughs> <laughs> Rohan voice that refuse. Yeah, I am certain that's the only one that's like... Do we own either of hats? Awful, yeah. I think we do. Yes, let's take yeah. the Clint's and... I like, by the way, that Jody's uh, ultimate weapon is a shield. I like that... shield mm. weapon. It's very good. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, he probably in the desert. Oh, I mean, it said as much in the quest oh. log. So. Bum, bum, bum. Huh? Sounds like everyone's gathered in the middle of town. Oh, of course the fucking cowboy is here. Come on, aren't you guys curious? Even a little? Nah. I mean, what? I am, but... But what? Well, Neff, I'm just not sure what exactly you reckon you're going to find in there. Nothing good, that's for sure. You guys are unbelievable. Perfect opportunity to get some answers falls into our laps and you just want to throw it away? Doesn't it eat away at you constantly? I'm fine with my life the way it is. Don't need to complicate it by worrying about the past. Wouldn't have said it better myself, Crud. I mean, be that way. I didn't need your help anyway, you selfish dicks. What size do you think Fanta is? I. Like the soda? <laughs> Sorry, it's now a bad time. Fantasy, god damn it. What exactly do you need help with? Oh, forget it. I've already asked enough of you. You're probably still busy dealing with gym gems anyways. Hey, come on, Neff. It's our job to help people in need. If it's something that involves fighting, now's the perfect time, actually. Allison's right. We're looking for extra training anywhere we can get it. Meatballs. Okay. Out in the desert, this dangerous place we call the crypt. It's... It's where we first woke up. Itzy and I want to get in there and see if we can find any information about where we came from. We? You mean... The undead? Yep. I don't know how much you've heard from the others, but none of us remember where we came from. I don't remember our old lives if we even had them. Just got woken up one day in this strange place full of broken machines that do God knows what. Since that sucks to think about, most of us decided to take comfort in simpler narratives. Being an archetype. I guess everyone kind of does that to an extent. Most people just don't say they're cowboys. I've never been satisfied with that, though. There has to be some meaning behind all this. People don't get raised from the dead every day. I mean, I don't know if it's a good reason. There has to be a reason why we're here. The problem is, the crypt has always been too dangerous for me to investigate. It's big, and who knows how many feral bots are all there. But Ipsy and I figured Amelia's back in town, and now we can get help from you guys, too. We can rally the troops, we can face whatever's lurking in there. Except, of course, none of my neighbors are interested. They don't even want to know. Well, I, for one, can't resist a mystery like this. What about my mom? She knows the crypt better than anyone, and she told me she's down if I can get a group together. I'll make this, uh, interesting for me. I guess now's my chance to show my mom what I can do. That's the spirit. Well, we're ready when you are, Neff. Man, now I'm really gonna owe you guys. I should probably talk to Amelia at the inn first. She's the one who knows how to get in. Allison, wait, we should equip you with the that new spellbook we got to show off to Amelia how you can just throw our money at people. <laughs> That'll really impress her. God, it will. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> We're still not unbanned from the bell. <laughs> oh, hi, Allison. I have no idea. What brings you and your friends back to Mumford? You know, no biggie, just helping Neff get into this crypt we've heard so much about. Wait, really? That's no small feat, you know. But I guess I'd expect no less from you, Allison. Yep, I, I mean, I could probably handle it on my own, but... Reel it back in, dear. Well, uh, anyway, Neff said you'd know how to get into the crypt. Well, the first step would be unlocking the front door. There's a gem that acts as a key to get in. I hid it in an abandoned facility in the northwest corner of the wasteland. Wait, Wait you mean this? I guess we found that earlier. That's the one? Nice work. Why'd you hide this? Because the crypt is crawling with the most dangerous keepers in the desert. 
I couldn't handle it alone when I found it years ago. With a team like this, though, we might just be able to make it through. I'll tell you more when we get there. Just make sure you're stocked up on supplies. When it comes to dungeons, the crypt is the real deal. Alrighty. I think we've got time for the crypt. Hmm. How are you feeling? You feeling... I think I'll love it longer. Okay. We got that map. We managed to not have that one. Oh yeah, we got that map. Now, were you paying attention when she said where we needed to go for the... Yeah, it's in the wasteland. Okay. Do we need to ask the innkeeper about embarrassing stories? That's a very good point, actually. Talk about the photo again? Oh, that was... oh, okay. Nothing further. Actually, we should rest to recover our hips and mips. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's okay because we need to kind of wander around this place anyway a little bit to find uh, the last sun. Oh, and also, oh. I want that chest very much. <laughs> Is it going to be the last sun? Oh. Ah, cool. But, that comes in handy. What? The chest? Is that the chest? No, the picnic basket. Oh, I thought it might have the rabbit in there. Oh. No, I, I, I meant Javis's last son. Oh, that son. Yeah, not like, not like another another uh, critter. Bunny, sunny. God, that would suck so bad. We'd walk past that earlier and just, oh, yeah. oh, you've been sweltering in here for a while, huh? huh? There's some rabbit jerky in this chest, that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that's where we fought Glyph. Do you think we're gonna get a rad power friendship thing at the end of this? God, I hope so. I feel like we've got her, right? It it feels like we got her. The, the sort of inspirations Bobby mentioned when she was making this game, it's gotta be. Mm hmm. Claire's beam. <laughs> Claire beam. <laughs> Going to attack you with my beam. <laughs> the beam of get you. <laughs> I wish we'd paid literally any attention to where <laughs> this crypt was. I mean, surely it can't be far. Ooh, there was another chest. Oh shit, was there? Up north somewhere. Oh yeah, good spot. Whoop! stop them bugging us at all. <laughs> and 
No, Bot does an adorable attack. Mm -hmm. Miss! Claire! Melody with the save. Oh, I see. Oh, That's... oh. Ah, beans. Oh. Oh, God. how we bridge that little gap. Oh! There's a switch over there that presumably would, but I ah. need to get to that place first, so, uh... Let's see. Uh, where are we on this map? Oh, the... you can take the west exit out of Mumford, it looks like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Skadoodle your noodle down. Let's do that. Hang on. It better be worth it. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna be some bold shit. My strange things happen around here lately. Seen that crud to the north? No, crud usually hangs out near the inn. Hardy har har. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the irregularities. That is strange indeed. Oh, well, thanks for the. Mm -hmm. Thanks, you could help, bro. <laughs> yeah. This is the... that place. The synth dungeon, you know, whatever. Is this crypt gonna have a boner dagger? I sure hope so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess there's two west exits out of Mumford? We definitely took the upper west one. Oh, wait, no, uh, we need the lower, lower west, west one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember the boner dragon. Sorry, the boner dragon. There we go. There it is. Ah. It's gonna be something we're over leveled for, or some bullshit, right? Oh, no, Yay! it's not some bullshit. Uh -huh. Ah, good. Hey, one of uh, those robots grew up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, the G-imps from, from Kingdom of Loathing. Mm. How could I forget? Okay. I mean, that wasn't really the crypt that... Or was it actually the crypt? Maybe the... So, like, pulling double duty is, like... Funny dungeon and also crypt later? Maybe. maybe. I feel like we would have had a little... No. Yeah, we would have had literally... Okay, the crypt's the east. Okay. by some corruption. Oh boy. Just deal with this real quick. Mm. Let's 
gonna fuss over my party just real quick. There we go. Fair enough. Oh, you need to go back there to get the ruby eye if you don't grab it your first time through. I see. Okay. Ah. Hey, bitch. Howdy. Brings you all around these parts. What do you think, dude? Ah, yeah, the scrambling. These mini scramblers are indeed cooked up are really doing the trick. We're mainly trying to get your attention, but I reckon the locals should also get used to the change in scenery. Dear old dad and Verena are going to be making some renovations soon after all. <laughs> Not on our watch. Okay, can we stop for a second? You're some kind of extra dimensional entity, right? Why are you a cowboy? What the hell is up with all the cowboys lately? Now ain't that just one of life's great mysteries. Well, enough chit chat. Let's get to business. I am kind of offended by the whole cowboy thing. I didn't really want to bring it up because... Uh oh? What? Oh, you are fucked up. Well, because oh, she's oh. a cow. Oh, good point. Now, hold on just a sec. I got y'all a little something. Think of it as a gift from your buddy Clinton. There you go. Oh. Enjoy. You got 15 turns till that there poison knocks you out cold. The only cure is to beat me. Have oh. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, fucking Pillar Man. Oh, jeez. Hey, asshole, your hat needs to install counters. Hey. <laughs> oh, amazing burn. Oh, don't do that. Oh, terrifying. Okay, he's corrupted, so we don't need to worry too much about his ass for a bit. It also poisoned the poisoner, which is, feels pretty good. I okay not believe you did that. Actually had an on-screen timer or something. That would be good. Once thought cyanide was poisoned specifically for blue things. That is precious. Oh. Maybe five turns or something. Yeah. His left arm is uh, really bad. It's not great, is it? It's just like, oh no, my loose cardiovascular system is just kind of out there oh. now. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Oh, he hated that. Good. That's five That's... turns. How are you holding up? <laughs> I'm better than you are, asshole. Yeah, pretty good, actually. Considering the context for that thought was someone trying to give it to your blue cat wolf in an RP. Oh, well, seems like a mean thing to do. Oh my god. Very rude. Uh huh. Wait, no, Claire should... Infernoize him. Oh, and Jody needs to build star power. Since we're on the last of them, can reveal the HP count? Go for it. What is their HP count? Three, one, 
1500. Okay. Sorry, 15,000 rather. 15? <laughs> Five? Not a mean number. What the fuck? Actually, eight million eight thousand one hundred and thirty-five. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, that spells boobies. You can't fool <laughs> how do you, me. How do you like these super lesbians? <laughs> Pretty great. No longer corrupted, which means he's actually going to start putting up a fight, I guess. Uh -uh. Shadow! Our mama! We just knocked him over with a gentle breeze. Oh. Nice. Oh wow, we're up to level 28 already. Uh-huh. We were at like 21, I think, when we left Zinnia. This feels like it, yeah. Damn, just had to go and ruin my fun, huh? Hope you feel proud of yourselves. We Fucking did. try harder that next time, asshole. Well, just you wait. We're gonna be the ones who have the last laugh. I doubt it. You're not the protagonists. Lucky <laughs> horseshoe. Hello. Yeah. What's this gonna do for us, precious? Hey, we beat up Jim Jars' wonderful sons. <laughs> so lucky it'll prevent most common status ail ailments. Oh, my. Uh. Pretty good. Okay, who gets that? I like Melody because she's got the protect from <sighs> freezing already. So yeah, protect, protect our healer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the map real quick. Where are we at? Uh, yeah, I guess it could be this center one. Oh, Melody has her own unique accessory. Oh, excited. Oh, yeah, that oh. funny bangle. Oh, guess Ipsy managed to fix the teleporter after all. That wasn't the one. Yeah. Ah! Allow me. Yeah, I definitely kind of like to take my time as well, but like... Earn limits are a very good way to make me go... <laughs> and throw a little bit of that out window. Oh, hey. Hi, everybody. You get the gem? Go ahead and place it in the pedestal when you're ready. Man, I've been waiting a long time for this. I wonder what we're going to find in here. Meatballs. No, there's probably not any meatballs in there. <laughs> yeah, chaining Bigby up uh, was key to that fight, I think. Cause yeah, man. that helped so much. You kids ready for this? Na 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 na? Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's head on in. Oh my. Oh great. Well, this is it. This is where I found them. In all these pods? Meatballs. They're just Wait. surge given physical form. Wait, so is this related to everyone in Mumford calling you their savior? Yep. Well, there's not much of a story to tell, I'm afraid. 
I stumbled upon. Sorry, this is all very boring to me. I'm at <laughs> I stumbled upon this mysterious floating wasteland near the Sapphire Islands. It's cloaked from view from the outside, so when I realized it was here, I was naturally curious. I poked around and I found this. Just rows and rows of reanimated people floating in pods. I freed everyone because it seemed like the right thing to do, but they had no memories. Don't forget that Glyph was there, too. Yeah, she helped me get in here after I found her resting away outside. She couldn't remember anything either. Since they had no place else to go, I helped everyone get started building their little scrap town. Then I was on my way. So that means Mumford really wouldn't exist if it was, wasn't for you. They'd probably still be trapped in there. I suppose so. Amelia's being odd, modest. <laughs> We'd have been stuck here forever if it wasn't for her. Boy, this just gets more and more mysterious. You're telling me. Something on your mind, Neff? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Well, enough sightseeing. Better keep going. Amelia, you said you were never able to go much farther than this because of the feral bots, right? Yeah, it gets pretty intense deeper in. We'd better be ready for anything. Let's split into two groups. I'll go with Neff and Ipsy. Alice and you go with your friends. We'll cover more ground that way. Uh, yeah, sounds like a plan. Meatballs. You okay, Mel? I'll be okay. This place just reminds me of a certain other place I'd rather not think about. Me neither. I'll keep my nose peeled, but I don't smell any mana leaks right now. Might be in the clear this time. But whatever you need, I'm here. Come let to me, know. me through fire and war. I welcome you. Yo, Izzy the Fat oh. Cat, welcome. And oh, uh, hey, welcome. One of our follower goals met. And hell yeah, thank you, incredibly you. Hell oh yes. my god. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Where were we? Some words of encouragement wouldn't be the worst thing right about now. Well, hey, just think about it. You're not just any old schmuck, Mel. You're Melody Amaranth, the paladin who's braved the worst the Neon Labyrinth that the Guardians of all had to throw at her. The adventurer with the plan to face the vengeful goddess of magic herself. Compared to all that, some rusty old ruin should be a cakewalk for you. You know, you have a point. I didn't want you to find out this way, but I'm changing my name to Schmuckmull. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. That does help. Finally caught a super cool Gormstrindon. Ah, oh, yay! <laughs> Yeah. Gorm. Gorm. Now, come on, we got a dungeon to tackle. You mean tickle? <laughs> right. No, I mean, I'm going to throw all these fish hooks all over the place. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, well, first off, let's do a quick little save and check where our pips and mips are. Quick little picnic. <laughs> <laughs> In the 460th flower, do you get a free prize? You do! It's my eternal gratitude. Uh-huh. Meow. Wait, can we... I owe you a life to... No, no, I don't. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. Oh, Natural 20. Thank you for getting ah. us up busy. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Oh. <laughs> On a chest with a bomb and a gun and a sword. Mm -hmm. Just jolt these idiots. I can eat a free sub. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Yummy yummy. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm hoping we can wrap up this dungeon before this end stream. But oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> what do you have there? <laughs> Where did you get that? Put that down. My gun. 
Saga. Scary, scary, okay. Ah, cool. Ne neat. We just have that now. Just have a bomb. All we need is some rope oil and... <laughs> Mega Man Legends bot pulls out a Glock with malicious intent. <laughs> 300 damage to one enemy. Alright. Respectable. Okay. From Sea of Thieves. I know that quote. <laughs> oh boy, conveyor puzzles. They're like slidey puzzles, but without any agency. Grundled mm -hmm. by the conveyor belt. Oh, I love that band. <laughs> Didn't they break up recently? <laughs> Build all their dogs to be space marines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we got wicked turned around there. Okay. You got turned? Okay, so. Oh, I see. Hey, Julie, good to see you. Kill dogs. Hello. Look. Look. They were heretics. They were heretics for one thing, but also they were. That was the deck that another person was playing in Magic the Gathering Commander, and. I had a. I, I had a Space Marines commander deck, and they had a dog's deck, so... <laughs> look, it was a bad look, no matter what. But that made you feel like a real toyed. Mm -hmm. These conveyor belts are making me thirsty. I mean, dizzy. Me too. I want to go again. 5,000 gold. Ah, oh, gee. Oh. 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 Oh no, I keep pressing my own <laughs> Oh god. I need to excite that quote, I think. That's just... <sighs> oh. There we go. Oh my. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> These robots all look just like Glyph. Are they still functional? Nah, it doesn't look like it. And the computer here is busted too. Give me a few weeks to upgrade them I and I could probably give Glyph some new siblings though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, how'd you get over there? What? Oh, I just jumped across. You can make a jump like this, right, Allison? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Long jumps, wall jumps, backward long jumps, all the standards. <laughs> Thank you, video game. But, you know, <laughs> we just have a different way of doing things. Understandable. Have a nice day. I, I'm a platform game protagonist, and you're an <laughs> RPG <laughs> protagonist. I'm more, of, I'm more of a Super Paper Mario... You're more of a, a Mario superstar. It's, it's understandable. <laughs> There's probably another way across. Let's meet up again further in. Uh, nice save there. Not right now, Jody. What? I was being sincere. Just 
she can she canonically not jump? Is this something that we know about her? I don't know. Oh. Ah. Alms. Our siblings. So in this context, lesbian animal is equivalent to Mario. Hmm. Oh, super paper lesbian. Oh, super Nelly. paper lesbians. Oh dear. Hey, are we gonna uh, unpack that? Uh, 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 uh. Hey, are we gonna unpack that what we just went across? No. Like at all? Okay. I feel normal about this. Ah, oh, how the fuck did you get in there? We better get you back to Noel when we're done here. We got two more. We can get another cool thing. Oh, we sure can. Finger guns. Mm -hmm. oh. Music here is also very, very good. Mm -hmm. Wait, nope. Wrong. Incorrect. There we go. How about down here? Uh. Okay, this is nothing. I thought this might be... <laughs> Mom is from Super Lesbian Animal 64 if she can do backward long jumps. Fair. Oh. Hey Addison, check this out. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh boy. No. Oh, don't give it a gun. Evil glyph indeed. Scare, scare, frighten. Glyph. Gloop. <laughs> Do we just save all these bombs for a rainy day? <laughs> I was just thinking that how long would it take us to grind up to max bombs and just pile them all into Verena's mouth? <laughs> Just mental chin her to death. <laughs> Seize the means of production. Seize the bombs of production. Mm -hmm. Seize the means of producing these cute robots. You're the explo exploratoriate. Nah, eh, never mind. That was that was pretty good. I think <laughs> that's an A for effort. Yay. The bunny to bite the robot? He's the means of destruction, there we go. That's pretty raw, I like that. Uh, sleep good, Delta. Thanks for coming good along, night, appreciate it. Oh, and hydrate. It shall be so. Hmm. Oh, that lemon iced tea was a good idea. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we hydrate again? Okay. <sighs> and again. <laughs> it's alright, Delta. Like, just, you know. We're just having fun. It's fine. Yeah. You're having fun. We established a boundary. It's all good. Oh, hydrate again. Jesus. Mm. And again? Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. the way that you get that increase to 10,000. <laughs> I'm hydrated. Mm -hmm. Hydration is important, it's true. The Reaper spellbook, oh. excuse me? Oh, this spellbook's giving off an interesting aura. Even holding it's kind of giving me bad vibes. Claire, what's your read on this? Well, this one's no joke. <clears throat> Spells in here are really powerful. It seems like they also hurt just to cast. So we should just leave it here, right? Meatballs. Right. I mean... Oh no. I know, I know, I'm trying to be more responsible. I'm not going to use it behind your backs or anything. 
we are kind of training to potentially fight the goddess of magic right now. Meatballs. Look, let's just hang on to it for now. That's better than leaving it here, where it might fall into the wrong hands. If we use it, we use it. If we don't, we don't. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Sweet. Soul Sap, Scythe Curse, Curse, and Undead? Well. <laughs> gonna <laughs> find out what that do, I suppose. That's gonna be exciting. This is fucking... Kia Solomon we just dug up out of here or whatever. I don't get that reference. I know uh, it's I know it's biblical, but I don't know what the fuck Solomon's key was other than an NES like video game. Demons summoning book of spells. Wait, fuck seriously? Yeah. Dang. They made a video game about that? Apparently. Neat. Is a reason reason the hydration costs a kill of bean. Hey, I like that term by the way. Uh -huh. Pretty good. <laughs> Oh, ah. mystery skulls! <laughs> Cover 25% of your health by draining it from an enemy. Curse oh. one enemy's HP, making them take damage from healing. Revives one fallen ally with full- oh no! Extremely cool! Hey, let's try Scythe Slash, I guess. <laughs> Claire, are you gonna make us zombies? Yep. Yep, zombie time. <laughs> it sure seems like zombie time. Ether. Nice. Mommy. just ate a robot soul. <laughs> Not out of power. <laughs> Terrifying. I'm a mad cow. <laughs> there we go. Kaboom, dear ass. Fucking terrifying. What a spell book to find. Uh -huh. Oh, door opened. Oh, there's a sticky note. <laughs> well, that's one less locked door to worry about, I guess. Looks like it was punched clean open. Oh, there's a note. Took care of this door for you, Mom. Oh, my God. Man, what am I even doing here? I can't keep up with my mom. She doesn't need my help here. I'm like her lame sequel that took 22 years to make and wasn't even worth the wait. Hey, come on now. Duke Nukem wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> did, you already, did you already forget what you said to Paula about life not needing to be a competition? Your mom's proud of you, no matter what. 
Yeah, but it's like pity pride. Like, oh, it's so cute that she's trying at all. Good for her. Oof. What do you do? Don't check y'all's Twitter notice. I may have made a picture. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, we'll have to look at that at the end of the stream. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to see me as my own person and not just her kid. I'm blowing my chance. I don't want this to set the tone for my relationship with her my whole adult life. Allison, look me in the eyes. You're not just anyone, and you're not just a cheap knockoff of your mom. You're Allison Galetta, the brave adventurer who bested Paul Cassidy in battle. Twice. And many more where she came from. Meatballs. And yeah, your mom's awesome. But she's had decades to get good at what she does. Look at how much we've accomplished in the last few days. A week ago, you were still working minimum wage, and I was practicing my first spell. That's nuts. That's nuts. What Melody said. Come a long way, Allison. You've just got to quit worrying about impressing your mom and keep being your awesome self. Because we wouldn't be here without you. Meatballs. Thanks, Melody. I'll try to keep that in mind. Come on, forget about this. Let's just go help Neff and Ipsy find what they were looking for. Standard visitor capacity has been exceeded for the central control room. Please confirm that you are not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Input the text you see on screen. Certification unsuccessful. An unknown error has occurred. Would you like to launch the help wizard? Oh no, are we going to fight the help wizard? Please, 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 please. Yes? Launching help wizard. Meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> please take the help, help wizard. Who dares awaken me from my eternal slumber? Prepare to face my wrath. Fucking love video games, y'all. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at him. Oh shit! Rest in pepperonis, asshole. <laughs> we got to check the bestiary for that. Just really quick. Fucking god. Well, that was easy. It was a hologram. And a distraction. Come on, let's keep moving. I know it was a distraction, but just real quick, just real quick, I just gotta... Just real quick. There's... there's a wizard. This is <laughs> not a monster. This is a hologram. Can we kick that hologram? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, you sure there isn't anything here? Can't you hack it? What do you think I've been trying to do here? I realize it's not as easy as just pressing the hack button, right? Of course I know that. Yeah, there's it's gotta be some kind of like pipe dream minigame or something, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> hey, anyway, no need to be at each other's throats now. We're all just trying our best. 
I'm sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to raise my voice. It's okay now, finally. You just want to know the truth. I do too. But the information here all seems to be corrupted or locked up tight or both. I can't even find any files on us. All I'm seeing is terabyte after terabyte of junk data. Meatballs. I mean, I'll keep looking. We already came this far. But I'm starting to think that we should have just listened to everyone back in Mumford. Meatballs. I know we were in here a long time before Amelia found us. I know any family I might have had must have died centuries ago, assuming we weren't grown in a lab. But I just... I guess I wanted to know who I'm supposed to be. Meatballs. What you're going through isn't easy, Neff. But that's for you to decide on your own. And if you look deep in your heart, I think you'll already know exactly who you are. A zombie with a heart mm -hmm. that doesn't beat. Mm -hmm. I wish I could give you more than some kind words. I wish I could give you the life that was taken from you. But I really do mean that. Thanks, Amelia. I don't know. I guess I've just felt confused lately. I... Hold on, something's up. Oopsie doopsie. Uh oh. Uh, central control system designation Daedalus reactivated. Employees 43 and 16, what are you doing away from your stations? Uh oh. Employees? Hey, wait, do you know who we are? As stated, you are employees 43 and 16, accompanied by an unauthorized visitor. You know that's not what I meant. Hope no one has designated Icarus here. Ah, I get that <laughs> reference. One, one moment, please. I haven't been active in many years. I need to verify the status of the facility. Meatballs. Oh my. It appears that the situation outside is worse than I thought. None of you are at your stations, and the premises are covered in garbage. It would appear that your retraining was a failure. I must move on to plan B. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why are you saying meatballs? Because they're saying meatballs. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. What else is that? But meatballs. Meatballs. Oh. Mom! What happened? Uh oh. Oh. He happened. What is it? Oh, oh they're cool oh looking. My. Yeah. Hmm. It appears I do not have enough empty containment pods for these additional intruders. You have to get them out of here. How? Hey, you hunk of drunk. Quit ignoring me. You called us employees. Who am I? What is this place? I gotta remember anything. You are contractors employed by the Halcyon Corporation. You and your undead co-workers became unhappy and staged a violent rebellion using unauthorized magic, causing millions of gold and property damage. As collective action is a flagrant breach of your contracts, standard disciplinary measures were taken. All undead workers stationed at this facility were recalled and placed in hibernation pods to be retrained. Is that what you call erasing their memories? Also, Praxis, not... by the way, Neff. Nice. Yeah, that is not our official terminology. That's what you did, though, right? You don't seem to understand the circumstances, Employee 43. Know this, we graciously use state-of-the-art <laughs> necromancy to revive you all after your untimely deaths. Most mortals aren't so lucky. But our data showed that undead labor will be more cost-effective, so you were given an opportunity most would envy. In exchange, you were provided with shelter and allowed to work off your medical debt at this facility. You chose to repay this generosity on the part of the Halcyon Corporation with violence. And what exactly was this job? It was so important you would raise the dead and trap us here for eternity. System maintenance. What? Every second, the computers you see across this island are performing trillions of computations. For every quintillion computations, one fun coin is generated. Oh, fuck you! These can be... 
You're insane. <laughs> you're insane. You and whoever oh built you. These are our lives you're toying with. All for this? I believe that you will find that from a legal standpoint, you are no longer a living person. You... No matter. In a few minutes, the propulsion system keeping this facility afloat will deactivate. The entire island will be dropped into the ocean below, washing the filth from its surface, surface and ridding me of you and insubordinate un... What? Insubordinate subordinates once and for all. That's why her name is Neff. It's mm -hmm. Nefty. Not Nefertiti. Oh Are you nuts? Won't you and all your stupid computers be destroyed too? Don't worry. All the equipment is waterproofed. Unlike you, it would be it's very difficult to replace. Curse. Fuck my ass. Christ. Good joke. Okay, that does it. I let Neff get her answers, but I've heard enough out of this bucket of bolts. The one thing I can't stand is people like you. I'm not about to sit idly by while you talk, walk all over folks for your own selfish game. Come on, it's time for some direct action. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh. oh my god, look at this. Oh, it's fucking Giga Gaia. Yeah. Yeah, what? I wonder if the name usage of Daedalus is referenced to Prometheus and Atropos from Chrono Trigger. It was definitely giving some serious factory vibes. Mm-hmm. Giga guy and Mother Brain just smooshed into one. Yeah. I don't believe this entire island's built around a fucking pun. I can. <laughs> Grabbed? Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh, it's really cool. oh no! I did read that as crabbed first. <laughs> she, she's been carcinized. Melody! <laughs> God! <laughs> Where you are? I fucking get you. Yeah, no kidding! This machine is Daedalus, the island itself is Icarus. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, it's got layers. Mm -hmm. Like an onion. Like an onion. Hey, Jody's got to just real quick feed Claire a potion so that she doesn't explode from mm. using the spell book. You okay, Mel? Thanks for the save. Now time for some payback. Now I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> See how he likes it. I am um, just seething that this is actual as crypto. I was like, is is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Are they? Is that what's going on here? I'm sure enough. Good joke, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Now, is it going to revive its hands? Of course it's going to revive its hands. Okay. Well. Let's beat it up. You're making a delightful queer RPG, I would be proud to make such a pun. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, yeah. god damn. Oh yeah, I should reduce its... I mean, that beam's probably magic, right? Probably. Shadow magic. Yeah, I guess. You <laughs> miserable wretches. You little wastes of mana. I was considering taking pity on you and reanimating your corpses after this. Now you'll be lucky if there's anything left. Oh, it's enraged. Uh-oh. Wow. Angry all good. by. Shadow magic just like Robo's. I love Robo. Robo is fucking great. Hmm. 
do like the idea of summoning Beverly here for kiss. She's just like, oh, hey, well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yes. Oh. Look, look, you furries, pathetic creatures of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect immortal machine? God fucking showdown rules. I'm really excited for whenever the System Shock 2 remake happens. I can draw hands! What? Fuck. <laughs> what? I can draw hands. It's how we were better than the mortal machines. We can, oh. We can, we can. <laughs> no, sorry. I, it took a moment. <laughs> Your natural 20. I have listened to that little speech a lot, so, you know. Okay, come on. Oh! All right, I guess he did bring his hands back. Mm -hmm. Nice. You got terminally patty caked. Mm -hmm. Critical damage detected. Aborting ongoing tasks to conserve power. You did it! We were almost goners. You do not understand who you're dealing with, the severity of your actions. You four have made a powerful enemy today. I'm not sure powerful is the word I'd use to describe you. I am not referring to myself. Meatballs. Shutting down. Easy. <laughs> Should we be worried about that? Meatballs. Hey girl, are you AI art? Because you don't really know what you're doing with your fingers down there. <laughs> Forget him. He just wanted to have a last laugh. We saved everyone, we got Neff and Ipsy. Some answers at least. So, mission accomplished, right? How are you two feeling? Well, I'm glad I didn't just die a second time there. That's the spirit. The day's given me a lot to think about. That's the spirit. <laughs> Ditto. But thank you for everything you've done for us. Seriously. Let's head home. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, good. I have to Something ask. Mm -hmm. When does it stop feeling like you're faking it? I've been an adventurer for a bit now, and we've accomplished a lot in that time. But even after stuff like all that, it still feels like I'm waiting for it to become real. Do you ever feel this way? Everyone's making it up as they go, Allison. That's adulthood. You say that, but come on, look at you. You're the real deal. You're a hero. Savior of Mumford. You're the one who saved me today, kiddo. Maybe I got lucky. You're the pro here, not me. Is this really what you think of me? Of course it is. How could it not be? I'm not really their savior, Allison. I was just a treasure hunter, trying to find some relics in the ruins and... I stumbled upon these folks stuck in some pods. Glyph and I woke them up, and they thanked me, and now I check up on them every now and then. That's about it. I'm not a living legend. I'm not a celebrity. I just saw some people who needed help, and I did my best to help them. That's all a hero really is. And I think you're doing a pretty great job of it so far. I couldn't be prouder. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Mom. And you know, from what I've seen, you and your girlfriend make a good team. She's a keeper, Allison. Maybe I should fill you in on what's been going on with us lately. Meatballs. This is a lot to take in. Tell me about it. Well, you're definitely having a more eventful first week on the job than I did. Are you sure you don't want my help? I believe in Melody's plan. 
It won't be easy, but based on what we learned from Zinnia, I think we can resolve things with Verena. It won't be easy, but it will be based. <laughs> but in case Jim Jars has some more tricks up his poncho, I think it'd be best for you to hold down the fort in Mumford. Faith's doing the same in Greenridge. I understand. I know you can do this. I know I haven't been the most present in your life lately, and I know you like your independence. But I'm only a phone call away. Say the word and I'll be there, Allison. Any time, any reason. Oh, good night, Squeak. You good got night, it. Squeak. There was one thing I wanted to give you, though. Joltstone? What? Wait. No way. Yes way. Is it the key to your... Oh. 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 I noticed that sword you've got there is missing its gem. I happen to have one in my personal stash. Go on, see if it fits. Ah. Oh. oh, hell oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Zircon Saber has become the Jolt Saber. Look I'm at how ready. cool she is. Oh, she's so fucking cool. Sword's even her color scheme. Gonna equip that sword. Uh huh. Allison's second true love, aside from Melody. <laughs> really useful for the big beef fight because it makes Allison's basic attacks look <laughs> like lightened out. Oh, yeah! Well. I think we're gonna wrap up there because it's getting beyond going where... forever and I'm about to die. Oh, no. We do have, <laughs> apparently, some fan art to look at, so I'm yeah, excited for that. Let me take a quick little look, ski -loo. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me uh, drag this into... <laughs> it's oh, amazing. But... <laughs> Is sure, sure, <laughs> sure, fucking OBS, just don't make that work. Don't let that work. You're uh... welcome. Hang on, let me try that again. I hope you're proud of me, Mom. There we go. Oh, it's a block with malicious intent. This is wonderful. Lizzie, <laughs> thank you so much. This is so, so fucking cute. cute. Oh. Fucking righteous. Okay. Let's go and see if there's anyone still streaming at this hour that we can raid. Um, hmm. Let's go raid Spectral Mary. Oh, thanks for coming along, Izzy. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. It looks like Spectral Mary is doing some Marvel Spider-Man remastered, so... Spoodlermans. Uh, I am just going to check real quick if uh, they are still going to be going. Um, unfortunately, I'm having to wait for this <laughs> long-as-fuck Twitch ad. Look at me, I want a bicycle, wee. What was our raid phrase? It was something to do with arms, right? Oh yeah, our fingers have hatched. That was it. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, Simply Nightbeat. I appreciate that. <laughs> so late that I've forgotten how to make this work. Okay. Okay, when we get there, uh, I'd like you to copy and paste this little message, which, you know, not intimidating at all, normal message. <laughs> um, and yeah, I hope you all have a pleasant rest of your evening, and we will see you on, I think, Thursday with uh, Sons of the Forest, which will have yeah. just released, which I'm very excited for. Yeah. So, you all take we'll care. You See you then. Bye bye. Mwah. Mwah.
Okay, and we are 